only thing we have to fear is fear itself. Fear. So many choices. Oh, we know function fear well without. Woohoo! Fear! Hello and welcome to another episode of Beer Busters. We're going to bring in the news and reviews of your favorite brews. My name is Dan Baker and I am joined by my co-host and brewologist. Steph Hafner. And of course the demented and fermented. Wayne Baker. Oh, uh, we're back. Guess we're who's here. back. It is time. It is the end back of again. Harrisburg Beer Week. And that means it's time for the fifth annual Little Big Beer Fest. Yay! Super happy to be here. <laughs> I love this event so much, and I was really bummed when I couldn't make it last year. I love my friend. I got married last year, but he made me miss one of my favorite events. Important question. Important question. Is your friend still married? Still married. Good. Still no kids, but lots of cats. <laughs> that's the so way that's to do it. Yeah. yeah, that's the way to go. <laughs> that's the way to go. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Uh, man, there's a lot that's going to happen. If you want to follow or or relive some of the shenanigans or check out uh, what you missed, and if you didn't, we say it every year. If you didn't make it, you got to come out next year. Uh, you got to find us online at Beer Busters on Instagram and Twitter, Beer Busters Podcast on Facebook, BeerBustersPodcast.com, of course, and uh, Patreon, Patreon.com slash beer buster so you can find your way into some behind the scenes stuff you get uh, last call which includes now the punishments punishments now, caught on video unfortunately for the patrons there will be a last call that's the fortunate part but unfortunately there will be no punishment because as an event we'll we'll there see. is no little uh, there, there's no happy fun time we'll see games. yeah well <laughs> it's it's a day of heavy drinking so maybe no promises. maybe the day itself is punishment by the end no it's not <laughs> it's a fun time it's wonderful Rich was kind enough to get us some beer. I want to mention that before we get to our guests who were kind enough to open the show with us. It's a Windridge Farm beer. Yeah, bourbon barrel aged imperial stout, 13.9%, because it's a little sip. big beer fest. Wow. It's pretty delicious. Yeah, it is pretty delicious. Oh, my God. Yeah, this is right up your alley. This whole fest is right up your alley. Who am I kidding, Dan? Why do I continue <laughs> to drive to this? <laughs> Oh, man. That is definitely a mistake. That was a mistake. Yeah, that yeah. idea. Well, I got to be responsible, I suppose. Uh, but we do have... Two awesome guests that we've had on for the past several years at this point, yep. because you are two of the uh, founders of Harrisburg Beer Week, and you've put all of this together and organized Little Big Beer Fest. We have Tierney and we have Colleen. Ladies, how are you? Wonderful. I'm great. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much for starting the show with us and for having us back out here in general. Oh, thanks for being here. Yeah. We're, We're so happy to have you. Yeah. Yeah. Tierney and I made a, uh, a bonding like a contract, contract today. Yeah. As oh. long as we are recording podcasts and they are doing... Uh, Harrisburg Beer Week, we will always record at this event. Yes, okay. and high five to we seal the deal. That's yep. official. Nice. Okay. Yep. I was going to say, we need it signed in blood, but high five is just <laughs> oh, as <good>. blood. <laughs> high five. <laughs> high five. <laughs> signed in beer. Yes. Yeah. 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 Signed in beer, yes. yeah. Uh, yeah we, we told you about our new mixer before we started the official episode. We didn't tell you it was about the cult that we've started. <laughs> oh. Uh, <laughs> that's aggressive. <laughs> That's aggressive. Anyway, how has <laughs> how has Harrisburg Beer Week been this year? It's been wonderful. Um, we had, of course, still over 150 events throughout the 10 days. Um, but I found that this year we had a lot more unique and purposeful events as opposed to like a whole bunch of tap takeovers. People are really, really getting into Harrisburg Beer Week now. Um, and it... You know, it takes a little bit to truly understand what we're trying to do out here and how to make that work for each brewery or each wholesaler or each venue. And we've had a lot of really good stuff. Everything's gone really well, well attended. I mean, it's been a dream. It's been a dream. <laughs> do you uh, get to go to, or is there somebody from your team that's at every event? No. No. Okay. <laughs> it's I, just I, not I possible. Say, there's, there's five of us. There's yeah, no, we can't there's get no everywhere. Possible. Yeah. We especially because we do, and especially because we're doing these big events on the weekends. Yes. It's not possible for us to get it to every everything. Yes, but we try to get around. We, we get as, get mu as much as we can. As much as we possibly can. I think we've all been out almost every night this week trying to get to multiple things trying to get to <laughs> and even if i'm not out i'm still celebrating in my own way yes. uh, yes. <laughs> like i posted on instagram i was uh wednesday night i didn't i didn't, my kids had dance class and stuff it was crazy so i didn't get to go out so i said i sat home and watched uh port and pa and drank a troganator you know what i mean nice, nice. <laughs> it's like, so like yeah it's kind of like being out still <laughs> still supporting the cause was Speaking it the of, we should plug them right at the top of the show yes absolutely. we should, yeah, we should. Absolutely. Yes. the guys are walking by us right now yes. uh, it is now officially on amazon prime yes so port, and, port and pa is on amazon prime which so means cool. i can finally watch it i yes. haven't seen it anyway yet. Oh, you haven't seen it. oh i have to say my friend my, my kids enjoyed watching it to see all the people that they know Aww, <laughs> that's cool i was like i don't know what this is about me as a that parent is, uh, but that's okay 
That's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, but the crew at GK Visual, of course, is here filming everything. We had our, uh, our our group debut on camera, which is pretty cool. I can't wait to see what happens with that footage. Hopefully, they crop me out. That's totally cool if it happens. <laughs> I do believe their first episode is about Harrisburg Rear Week. We'll see. Makes sense. That's, that's public. That's we'll it, was all, it was on the news. It was, it was, it was on Pan Live. Wait, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Yep. We're going to uh, keep hearing of spreading the word of, of beer on our podcast, and they're going to keep spreading the word through their uh, episodes as well. It's that's quite so exciting. cool. I remember the first Harrisburg Beer Week. So Aww. sticky. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it was. I was going to ask if you have that. Please tell me you have that. <laughs> oh, it's, it's on there somewhere. I was waiting for so it. So sticky. Oh, <laughs> that's, that's not that's the OG. That's the other one. That's the remix. So sticky. I forgot we had two. There's a remix? We also have it. This sausage. Is DTF. <laughs> <laughs> Some of my oh favorites. My God. They're pretty good. They're pretty oh good. It feels my goodness. so long ago. <laughs> yeah, I know, it was. right? It was so it long, was ago. So long ago. Well, I didn't mean to spark that tangent. That's what I was wonderful. what I was driving <laughs> Sorry, at was ask your question. you guys seemed so tired yes. at the first little big beer fest because yeah. you had spent the whole week. Has it gotten I mean, obviously it's still just as cool and you guys had a great time. I mean you were glowing kind of tired, Aww. but like yeah. Is it still as tiring now, or have you kind of gotten into the groove where, like, you've got this down to a science? We, I'm definitely not as tired as I was then. Yeah. I mean, I also had four-month-old babies, True. twins. <laughs> um, but, but, no, definitely, I think we know how to pace ourselves a little better. We even, we started a day early this year because of um, meeting, meeting of the, the malts. malts. Um, but we still, yeah, because uh, everyone's in, in beer week is 10 days long. It's actually 11 <laughs> days long for us. Um, but, yeah, no, we... We, I, I feel like I was better on Saturday because I started on Thursday, if that makes any sense. Like it does. I, oh, I paced myself better. I feel like after meeting in the malts, I was hung over Friday until like 10 o'clock at yeah. night. <laughs> same, <laughs> like it's, same. It, it weren't, you know, uh, five years of beer week means five years that we've all aged. Mm. Um, not by looks, definitely. We all no. still look quite young and lovely. <laughs> of course. But, you know, we're, we're better at it now. So we are taking the time to pace ourselves and remembering to drink water and not overexerting ourselves. The first year we did it, we didn't know what to expect. Like, I didn't know if anyone was going to come to anything. I didn't know if we were going to sell tickets to anything. We were all very stressed out. And now, because we have such a good foundation that we've laid over the couple of years, I mean, we still push ourselves to make it better and more awesome every year. And we do way more every year than we really should. But (laughs) we can't, you know, you care about it so much that you can't just let it sit and say, well, we'll just do what we did last year. Like, it's got to get better. It's got to be amazing. It's got to be awesome every year. Well, and we have a good, like, team of volunteers yes. we have a good a good system down yes. at this point we've perfected our oh well, i don't want to say I, perfected, a, I, I mean that first year too was also a lot of fomo like you didn't want to miss anything because yeah. everything yes. was so cool and everything is still really cool but i know that we i'm not are gonna die better. we <laughs> yeah. are doing better, i gotta take yes. care of myself i'm not missing something yes i was actually really looking forward to this this year because I felt like I like had paced myself all week long. I wanted to make sure I didn't miss anything just because I was hungover or tired and I, you know, went to work every day. But I was like, Little Big Beer Fest, I am going in and I am having a great time. Like I could <laughs> not wait for this. So it's the final big party. Oh, That's it's right. such a good party. It is, it is. And I, I, we say it every year, but this is like the event to come to. And we're so fortunate to be a part of it. But it's unlike any beer fest anywhere else. It's, it's intimate. It's, it's, the beers are just unreal. Um, the people pouring the beers are awesome. So many brewers and owners come and want to be at this event. And it's just a really, really good time. Even people dress a little nicer, too. Yeah, yeah. some people. Yeah, I'm wearing, <laughs> I'm wearing a button-down shirt right now. I know, now. right? <laughs> Well, it's also yeah. Derby Day today, so like yeah. there are so a couple oh, people true, dressed for true. Derby Day, which is fun. Yeah, Steph's got, Steph's got, got her hat. hat. So cute. <laughs> it's like a pimp hat, but yeah. better. Exactly. <laughs> she might also have a, a couple costume changes coming up. Uh, yeah, it's also May the 4th. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, there's a yes. lot going on today. Yes, there there's a lot there happening. <laughs> um, I always forget every year. What's the, what's the minimum ABV? Eight. Technically, eight. eight. That's what I thought it was. Okay. There are some people that break the rules, but I'm yeah. okay with that. Yeah. We're fine the, with having like a beer or two that's lower, to be honest, because so many, we were saying earlier, so many people this year like went hardcore. Like we've got a bunch of 14%, 16%, 18% beers. And I keep reminding everyone, like, please drink water. And I'm going to die. Like, please don't die. There's some really good hoagies out there. Yes. yes. Like, <laughs> it's making cheese. these like 8% beers look like session beers in comparison, yeah, which they is ridiculous. Really do. So I'm not mad about like two or three lower ABV beers sneaking in. For sure.
I think we would be uh, remiss if we didn't mention Harrisburg Beer Week is still benefiting uh, Harrisburg River Rescue. Yes. yes. So that's awesome. You guys just keep blowing it. I know every year it's so cool to see uh, the news break when you guys like officially, you the know, present check. the big check and yeah. all the money that you guys we raised. Love doing it's so that. cool. Yeah. It is. Um, it's definitely heartwarming. Yeah. And we have a we have a big presence with the River Rescue at this event this year. They they wanted to come and like be present and like thank people for being a part of this. I'm, I'm like trying not to get sentimental about it right now. Um, but it, it's very sentimental and this means a whole lot to them. And it's easy to forget when you're like just running around all week long, like having good beers, seeing all your beer friends, all of this stuff that like this is going to a great cause. And the Harrisburg River Rescue is so grateful and we are so happy to be able to give this to them every year. Um, so yeah, it's it's been a really good partnership. <laughs> it's been um, it's been fun to see what they've done. Yeah, they've been able the to do with our support. Making. Yeah, That's and they've they're they've been extra helpful. Like yeah, <laughs> their their big task this year for both of our festivals for the Humber Fest and this one is uh, emptying the the, the bucket, oh, the dump bucket, <laughs> the dump bucket. Like it's a terrible job. Tierney and I were trying to do that last year, and it was like we oh. we just can't. <laughs> That's oh. awesome. Get those you know big. We need Big some, river some people guys with lifting. muscles. Yeah. Yeah. Firefighters yeah. in there lifting buckets. And it's also gross. Like, it's yeah. super gross. All those random beers. Yeah, and, oh. it's one of those things you don't think about, but you're like, somebody has to someone do has that. To do yeah, that, yeah, that has so to happen. True. They were stoked to do <laughs> yeah. it for us. We're so grateful. <laughs> yeah, that's so awesome. grateful. Yeah. That's cool. <sighs> now, of course, you you guys are uh, you've got merch here uh, for Beer yes. Week, but I also noticed you're sporting a tattoo. Oh yeah, T- temporary. I'm assuming for that one. For that one. For now. Yes, we have the little little hop tattoos and the IHOP Harrisburg temporary tattoos Mm -hmm. and we have all of our like people really love the IHOP HBG thing I have like the OG original shirt on right now I love this shirt but the new stuff's going really well and people love it so much we're like well I don't know if we need to do anything new like they love this we actually didn't have have. any new designs this year we 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 kind of baseball team brought back some we bought it yeah we got a baseball tee with an older design on it people are loving it yeah yeah it worked out really well Awesome. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That is the perfect way to sum this up. Well, we can't thank you enough for starting the show with us. Of course, again, for having us out here. Uh, stay safe out there. <laughs> yes. Stay uh, hydrated. Hydrated. I lifted here. It's but fine. more importantly, have fun. Yes. You've earned yes. it. Yes. You've definitely earned it. Thank you. thank you for being here, guys. Thank you for supporting Anytime. Harrisburg Beer Week. Absolutely. Um, it's always a pleasure to be on the show. So I hope you guys get some uh, cool, Agreed. fun footage. There's lots of people here today. Yes. Yes. Yeah, this will be fun. fun. And may the 4th be with you. And also, and, and also with you. <laughs> <laughs> the fest is underway, and uh, when we had the ladies on, I forgot to mention where we are. It's back at the National Civil War Museum. Very cool place to be. Uh, the, the fest is rolling along. There's lots of people out there. We are tucked away in a nice, sound-minded uh, hallway. Podcast hall. Yes, this is <laughs> podcast hall. Uh, complete with just one. But hey, we have our first brewery at the table. We have the guys from Moodug joining us. We have Mike. And we have Imperial Pat. Gentlemen, how are you? We are great. Doing how well. are you guys, man? Doing yeah. awesome. Doing awesome. Uh, how has Harrisburg been week? Uh, Harrisburg week been for you guys? I'm sober and I can't talk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, we've had an event at Moodug this week. It was awesome. Uh, so it was an all tap collaboration takeover, and we had ten beers on tap that were just brewed with myself and the Moodug staff. Uh, weird beers, mostly uh, Kool-Aid beers, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, all kinds of funny, funky, goofy ingredients that makes the brewmaster crawl a little bit sometimes, but <laughs> it was fun. <laughs> yeah, good. Well, uh, I want to start drinking these beers right away. Let's oh, God. I, if he's taking sure. pictures, I'm taking pictures. <laughs> I'll leave here. <laughs> so Steph has, uh, in the spirit of the day, uh, donned a, uh, uh, a sort of... I don't know what you call it's that. Darth it's Darth Vader like, cape. <laughs> it's a Darth Vader, Vader like quick costume because it's just like one little piece in a mask. <laughs> Yeah, but I don't <laughs> want any pictures. One of the costume but changes. No well, I'll have to put it on and wear it in front of the, the banner. Um, but. Uh, so, but, so, yeah, so what, what two beers do we have here? Uh, so we brought, to, uh, in the spirit of this event, I always like to do collaborations. And actually, with the spirit of the week, I obviously with the event we just had. But uh, So I did a collaboration with Poor Man's Brewing in Ephrata, which you guys were just hanging out with. Yep. Yes. And then uh, another collaboration here with uh, Imperial Pat. Uh, the Poor Man's collaboration is a West coast is IPA. Uh, West Coast ish. That's hard to say. That yeah. is hard to say. Yeah. So uh, Ryan, their brewer, and I both both enjoy kind of hybrid beers. So this is West Coast in the bittering. It's certainly unfiltered and not clear, um, and a lot of lot of late whirlpool hops um, as well. So it's got that nice great aroma, but it's still got some bitterness in the backbone. Not filtered, just 
Ooh. Really nice and delicious. It's very bright. Yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's a good word for it. Literally the same adjective I was thinking of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Very yeah, I was going to bring up Poor Man because we were, uh, <laughs> like you said, we were recently there and they talked about doing some collaborations with you. Uh, there was the, the ice box. The yes, polar we did the ice vortex. Yeah, were, the polar were you involved in that Imperial Pad? <laughs> no. That feels like that would be your doing. No, no, no it was okay. not. That was uh, that that capped off a very eventful yeah. evening that night. Uh, very good though. But so yeah, we guys, uh, we enjoyed doing collaborations yeah. with those guys. Ryan and I very much have similar brewing styles, um, and the fact that we can just meet together on a morning, not have a recipe set, not have anything planned, and just uh, roll with it. So literally, I I showed up with bags full of hops. He had them all. <laughs> we sat down. We sniffed hops. Made a recipe, and uh, that's what you ended up with. So, we sniffed some hops. So that's a blend of. Uh, so it's got Columbus in the bittering, and then a blend of Idaho Seven Calypso Citroen Mosaic in the in the whirlpool and, and dry hop. Does wow. it? Had, I, I I don't know if I missed it. Does it have a name? Impossible flashlight dance. Impossible. <laughs> I, I was gonna. I was gonna suggest we sniffed hops, but that's pretty good too. <laughs> Impossible flashlight dance. I like it. So as you guys have always talked about on your podcast, it's it's getting hard for brewers to figure out <laughs> names for beers. So this beer was actually named literally by pulling words out of a hat. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah, I love that so much. So it, uh, we spent a Friday night at the Mooduck Tap Room just handing out slips of paper and people dropping random words into uh, a bucket, and we were just pulling out three at a time and. One of the better ones was Impossible Flashlight Dance, so that's pretty awesome. With it. That's nice. a really cool idea to do it, like have people <laughs> in the tap room just like put words yeah. in. I like that. I really like that idea. That's cool. <laughs> so next is uh, a very Dan beer. Yes. Oh, I I saw the sign for this one. We were walking he around. He saw the sign. <laughs> Yeah, uh, we've all agreed this is right up my alley, but uh, Mike, why don't you tell the fine people in the world, or Imperial Pat. Yeah, so this uh, is a collaboration with Imperial Pat, so I'll let him uh, talk about this one. Oh, yeah, this is our uh, stout. This is one of my homebrew recipes for uh, a stout that I have, and then we just put in a lot of blueberry. So many blueberries, it was unbelievable. Yeah, a ton of blueberry. We put a whole big giant chunk of uh, maple wood in there that had been soaked in in bourbon for a while. It may, may or may, may not, not have been. been. May, it may, may or may, may not, not have been. <laughs> Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> All right, yeah. That maybe. sort of might have ended <laughs> up know. somehow. I don't know. I don't know. It's just beer. <laughs> it's just beer. <laughs> it's very good. What's the ABV on that? Oh, Did we mention? Fine. That was not too high. It, it, it actually only came in about 9%. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. Now, uh, with the, the may or may not bur- bourbon that may have also added, it could have been Allegedly. a little higher than yeah. that. But, um, you guys aren't getting this glass back, by the way. That's fair. There's still some of the idea. Yeah, we figured. And uh, that's a, it, I mean, you can certainly taste both of those ingredients, but for how many blueberries, know, blueberries and how much maple syrup we added to that darn thing, There's like so he kept much. coming to taste, and we're like, it needs more blueberry, it needs more maple, and we it's kept adding weird. and adding and adding and adding. We're finally we're like, okay. in the keg, we like <laughs> open up the sphere, added another like pint glass of maple syrup, and like yeah. that's gonna be it. That's, <laughs> we that's all we can fit: kegging maple syrup, kegging maple syrup. <laughs> it yes. tastes nothing like it. Yeah. It just tastes like maple. Oh, it is! It is delicious. It is really nice. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So what other awesomeness is coming to Moo Duck? You have a big anniversary coming up, which okay, yeah, we're so, excited so to November be So November is of. year five, uh, which is going to be a whole weekend celebration this time. Uh, you guys are recording with us, of course, Friday night. Yep. Saturday will be our all-day music fest slash King Slava bottles and, and all that fun. And uh, Sunday, we're not sure yet. It might be Moo Duck trivia, which we don't like trivia, but we thought it might be time <laughs> to have trivia. Resisted for as long as you can. <laughs> Can't do it anymore. Yeah. Well, that sounds really cool. And then uh, I got to give Pat, uh, Pat some, some more credit for a fun event we have. Probably the night I believe this is actually oh. going to be released. Um, we brewed a beer with the Elizabethtown Chief of Police. Um, it's an IPA, and we're going to do a release party where not only do we get to taste the beer, but some of the E-Town uh, police officers will be in the tap room to meet the community, and we're labeling that one as Hops and Cops. <laughs> <laughs> I suggested hops on cops, but I think it's still funny. Hops and like cops. Like the Dr. Seuss book. Yeah, yeah, like hop on pop. Yeah. 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 No. Hops on cops. No. Hops oh, when cops. you said that earlier, I didn't hops. I didn't make the Dr. Seuss connection either. <laughs> Hopping cops. So, Hopping so cops. if you're listening to this episode on the day of release, go to Mood Up it's because happening it's, right happening now. it's happening today. It's happening right now. Go. So uh, this is a relative new chief police, and one of his big goals is to make police seem like they are also normal people. Which, of course, they That's are. That's fair. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. Uh, he thought maybe, you know, having a, a couple beers with the folks would be a kind of good, good, good way to show that. That's pretty cool. I don't know that I've, I don't think in our travels we've ever co- come across Ooh. any breweries that um, 
we're doing any uh, any kind of events in, in conjunction <laughs> with the local police. Maybe like you know with you know the permission of the local, the local police. police. Yes, right. but yeah. actually you know having them participate that's pretty cool. That's yeah, it'll be fun. And I can't believe five years, man. I know, isn't that crazy? Wow. I don't wow. believe it either. That's insane. Yeah. Well, congratulations on that. Well, thank you. Uh, we're super excited to be there for that. That's going to be fun. And it's funny. That's one of those recordings. How how uh, far in advance did we did we book that stuff? <laughs> like the furthest, a year furthest in advance. It was ever. literally like a year ahead of time. We're yeah. like, please set aside this day. We're going to go do the mood. And we can't wait. Yeah, it's going to be cool. Great. Thank you guys. Yeah, thank you. As always, it's great to see you guys. Always, it's good to be. Yeah. Imperial Pat. Damn. Oh, she's doing the forced choke. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, guys, the beers are the awesome. It's always a fun time to have, and I'm looking forward to the event. Uh, your, your fifth birthday. That's great. That's awesome. Yeah. Thank you for having us uh, be a part of that. Yeah, always. Thanks. Have fun today. Yes, have fun at the fest. Thank you. Cheers, guys. The train keeps rolling here at Little Big Beer Fest, the fifth annual. It's still weird to think that it's been five years. Uh, but we have joining us at the table now from Gear House. We have David. David, how are you? I'm excellent, sir. How are you? Doing great, man. Thank you for uh, coming up to the table with us. Absolutely. Happy to be here. Now, I uh, we were at Imminent Liquidation last year, year before probably, and I won a Gearhouse shirt in one of the raffles. You did? Yes. And I, I love sporting it. Uh, unfortunately, I have since stained it, so it doesn't go uh, in the oh. normal rotation. But it was beer. Don't worry. Okay. Uh, you need it? to give it to me. I will get that stain out. Yeah. Okay. Beer stains do come out. They're not wine stains. Yeah. And they're not taco meat stains, as I've found. Ooh. I have a new pair of khakis in my car because I ruined a pair yeah, recently. That fire sauce will ruin everything. Uh, we literally, <laughs> this is totally a random tangent. We literally pulled up here to the, the <laughs> Civil War Museum today, Dan and I. Uh, Steph and Rich are already here. Steph comes out, or Rich comes out to help us unload our equipment. Hands Dan a plastic bag, says, here are your pants. <laughs> I won't elaborate. Our listeners don't need to know why. Yeah, we probably Please, shouldn't. Rich had, <laughs> Rich had pants to drop off for Dan, and I just thought that was funny. Needless to say, it is Little Big Beer Fest. Yes. yes. I, you know, I didn't think of that. I have a backup pair of pants you now. Yeah. You do? You do. You can go full hog. I'm going to go all out. Oh, I'm not going to. Anyway, back to the back uh, to, lecture. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Where exactly is Gear House located? So Gear House is in downtown Chambersburg. We're on 253 Grant Street, uh, in between Janzel Wines, which is right in front of us, and Jim's Farmer's Market, which is right right next door and a local favorite so awesome. most everybody in town knows that spot and and, ha- and you have a pretty big space there uh, it is deceivingly bigger than it seems <laughs> yeah uh, we have a total of two acres on our property so we've started a hop yard first off we have a garden that feeds not just the kitchen but the bar and the brew house mm-hmm. wow. uh, the hops we go towards every year at harvest uh, wet hop fresh batch uh, we have just enough acreage right now with the excess plantings from this current spring that this coming year should be our best harvest to date nice. uh, and we are currently in the process of upgrading our brew house we literally just watched it pass through the panama canal yesterday <laughs> oh, i'm cool. not even kidding that's uh, so cool it is in the caribbean sea chugging its way to norfolk it goes to its designers in raleigh north carolina before it comes to us by the end of this month wow and we should be up and running with a new 15 barrel system all bright and shiny Hopefully within the next six weeks. How awesome. cool is that? That you can order something online these days and watch it travel through the Panama Canal <laughs> to know when it's getting to you. That's really oh, cool. Oh, the price tag for that order. I promise well, you don't want to see the Well, yeah. <laughs> true, yeah. true, true. What's, uh, what's the current system that you have? So we already sold our previous system that we started with. It was a five-barrel, five. okay. uh, mostly stout kettles. Um, Com- cobbled together system. I pieced and parceled a lot of used equipment up and down, up and down the eastern seaboard. Um, and we conglomerated and grouped all of this stuff together and I turned it into a functioning brew house. We added fermenters down the road and it got to a point where we were still selling way more beer than I could produce. So instead of adding more larger fermenters, which just increases my man hours, we decided to sell our system to a brewery and planning called Juniata in Huntington. Uh, shout out to them. Good luck to them. Uh, and we are helping them get up off the ground at the same time we are getting our new system up and off the ground. And we did some other expansion projects to go along with that, including upgraded floor system and drainage. We are installing a grain silo very soon. We're having a second walk-in erected on site for all the excess keg storage, wow. yada, yada, yada. Wow. And how long has uh, Gearhouse been around? We literally just celebrated two and a half years old. Wow. Hey. Wow. And all that growth that quickly, man. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's always so cool to hear. When, uh, Chambersburg is name. thirsty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, like, I open our tiny little brewery and a month later i can't keep up with demand like it's stressful but a good problem to have that's it's, it's a cool. great problem to have yeah. and we're we're yeah. really fortunate that we have been very well received we have a lot of followers around the area and word of mouth has generally been the only reason why we're growing we're not paying for advertising right. and marketing yeah. currently well yeah. that's how i heard about you guys 
somebody said, you got to check out Gear House. I think it was Kevin Keller, actually. <laughs> Probably, yeah. And Rich and I went down, and yeah, it's a, I love that area. I've been going to Roy Pitts for years and years. Yes, yes, they, they were well established. Because they make a vlogger that's just out of this world, and so it's kind of neat to see how, like every area in Pennsylvania, it seems, how it's, it's starting oh, to expand Early on, that was a big question we got from a lot of locals, whether or not Roy Pitts was going to be receptive of us being in the same town They as were them. the only one for a right. long time. Right, and I, I always pitched it to him. You know, when you see one gas station, what's directly across the street? When you see one fast food market, what's directly across the street? Yeah. It's friendly competition. They know the demographic. They know the area. And if you're looking into starting a business like this, you need to do your homework yeah. and know yeah. where the best spot re- really should be. Mm-hmm. Well, plus, and we've talked about this a bunch on the show before but like with breweries it's kind of a different thing because people go to a, a, a they go to a town specifically to visit a certain brewery and there's another brewery across the street they're gonna stop it both right you're they're, gonna try both they're beers. gonna try it out yeah, because exactly. even if they didn't know it was there oh surprise yeah. more beer how many times have we walked around the corner somewhere and been like oh there's a oh, brewery beer. Here. Let's, go, <laughs> let's go check it out or something hey, you know look, what I mean? we just put that one down but i'm still thirsty yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> like we gotta at least go try one or two it's funny know? how that works yes speaking of still thirsty yes exactly yes. Uh, we have this wonderful smelling and looking beer, and I haven't had a taste of it yet, but this is your whiskey barrel aged stout. Correct. What is, I'm afraid to ask, what is its ABV? Uh, 9.3%. Ooh, not it's as not deadly as I would have thought. Sessionable not for the day. For the day, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Considering there's some 14s and 16s out there on the floor right yeah. now. Uh, but this this is one of those chewy, complex stouts. It's yeah. not Russian Imperial-esque. I yeah. prefer to more deem this as just a barrel aged stout. Uh, but these are freshly emptied Thistlefinch straight rye whiskey mm. barrels that we got from Thistlefinch directly. Um, the This beer was aged for three months in those barrels before then going through full carbonation process and then kegging. Uh, very, very limited batch. We only had about four halves total and this sixth that we saved for today. It is absolutely delicious. And you're right, it is very complex. It's it's There's sweetness, there's heat from uh, from the whiskey that it adds to it. It's It's got a nice mouthfeel to it. I really like this. I Excellent. do too. It, Thank drink, you. it drinks... It, uh, Fairly easily, it's not super thick. It's 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 it it goes down smooth, and it's not like sorry, it goes down what? It goes down smooth. smooth. Um, Dan's a huge into bourbon. I'm not super into bourbon myself, so when I get like those really hot, like fresh out of the barrel, sometimes it's a little too much for me. But this I is, got you. This is mellow uh, enough that I, I can really enjoy it. Excellent. And you get a lot of notes from the the malts as yeah. well, mm-hmm. which right. is, which is nice. The, yeah, the, the it is doesn't a, overpower that. It is a pretty big malt bill, and we have you know everything from flaked oats to special B and melanoidin, so we can round out toffee and caramel and yeah. a little bit of burnt toast, and then we get tannins from the barrel and a little vanillin from the barrel, mm-hmm. and then the whiskey notes and the heat from that. So it pairs and melds really well and i think if i had more of this and we could bottle it and set on it for a little while it probably would be really fantastic in so a you're year, just gonna make more <laughs> i'm gonna have to. yeah <laughs> with that new system that, that you're getting that, that new yeah. system's gonna have to do something it's i mean here. once it's through the panama canal the rest is a breeze it, that's really <laughs> customs is the only hurdle right now so <laughs> oh god oh, speed right. of government <laughs> man this this is great. So you have the one beer with you, and this is a, this is a solid knockout. This is a perfect offering for this day. Excellent, thank you. Uh, so if you're in Chambersburg, you've been there for two and a half years. Or if you're, oh, sorry. How is it that we um, have not had a podcast episode there yet? I'm not sure. Hmm. I feel we, like we uh, we should change that. We stay you know under how the radar. Far Chambersburg is from Philadelphia. I mean, I will drive to Chambersburg. Do you know who now has a Monday to Friday job? Oh, true. We could do yep. a Saturday episode. Yeah. All right, production meeting over. <laughs> we can do it right on site. That yeah. would be yeah. awesome. I would love that. I love that. We definitely should. Oh, yes. the exchanging of cards is now official. And nice. now you have my contact info. You may feel free to call me late at night. <laughs> Fair. Fair. I'll email you late at night. Yes. How's that? That's what I do. <laughs> I don't want to disrupt who, your who sleep. Who calls people nowadays? Yeah, emails, text. Email yeah. and text. That's 2019, that's really man. Yeah, I get worried if somebody calls me. Um, so anyway, uh, before we wrap things up with you here, is there anything coming up you want to plug? Anything exciting aside from your, your new Well, our system? new system is super exciting. We are doing a complete unveiling once we have it up uh, and set up, at least in the brew house right now. All of the production space windows and portholes that we have in our tap room and customer spaces are boarded up for the windows safety but mm-hmm. also so we can keep some semblance of a little bit of security and and surprise okay. um we are also doing in later this month uh, april showers bring may sours event <laughs> on site <laughs> nice. uh, so we cool. are supporting other cool. local uh and other pennsylvania broad breweries and trying to incorporate some bottle aged and um kettle sours and do something special we're gonna have some food trucks show up turn it into a thing and you know we're 
fast running out of our current inventory, so we need a little help. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Well, that sounds very exciting. Uh, we look forward to uh, seeing what you got coming down the pike and hopefully getting to the place and sitting down with the microphones and look talking to you. For look forward to having you guys come see it in person because yeah, it's, yeah. it's a beautiful spot. That will be you for a couple of hours instead of a couple minutes. That would yeah. be nice. Yeah. Yeah. I make my way to Philly almost every quarter, so... Cool. So cool. we have no excuse. Yes. Have this no is true. Excuse. Exactly. <laughs> Thanks, David. Have cool. fun today. Yeah, it was Thanks, great meeting, man. Thanks for right, sitting cheers. down with Thanks, us. Thanks, man. So we got to keep trucking, and I'm very happy to welcome back to the show Derek from Wolf Brewing. How are you, Derek? Oh, I'm wonderful. Thanks for having me, guys. Of course, man. Thanks for coming Thanks back for to the table. Yeah. Uh, now, I saw a thing about Wolf Brewing the other day, and I had to fact check it right before we started recording. You guys have had a big announcement recently. This yes. is going to come out two weeks from when we're recording. If you recall seeing the news, oh, great beer listener that you are out there, uh, Wolf Brewing Company is opening a new location. We a are. Location. A location. Yeah, yes, a, yes. A well, location, therefore, a new location. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's going to be in Mechanicsburg, right? <laughs> yes, it'll be right off Route 114. If you know uh, going south on Route 15, you get off the Cumberland Parkway exit, and at the end of the road, you see a sheets on the corner. You make a right. You cross over the Turnpike Bridge, and you're going to see us right on the right. There's a big neighborhood development coming in from Landmark. It's called Legacy Park. And we're just honored to be a part of it. We're going to be right in the front in the commercial section. You'll see the front of our building. Uh, we hope by November, December of 2020, if all goes to plan, weather dependent, uh, we hope to break ground early next year. Awesome. Oh, that's, that's so cool. Now, we, we did talk a little bit before we officially got into it about how bad our memories are. Um, but Wolf Brew, you were on the show at Little Big Beer Fest when it was still at Appalachian. Appalachian. Was that the first time? It may have, yeah. I think yeah, so. Yeah. I, I remember it was on last year and, and the, the one year before, before that. So it was yeah. two years. So this has been a long time in it planning. Has, and it it's, has. it's super exciting that you're finally getting a spot. That's pretty awesome. It, this, was a, this was a site that we looked at years ago. Three years ago, we approached them and they said our commercial segment is 2025. Mm -hmm. So we just really, uh, the following year, we're like, we really want to be here. Uh, my wife and I are high school sweethearts from Mechanicsburg High School. We used to run around this cornfield together. We were at middle school oh. bus driving by it, and this was just where we wanted to be. Uh, so finally, a year later, we gave them an offer for two acres of land, which we knew we're not getting two acres of land, but <laughs> it was good. We finally sat down, and they said, welcome to the island. Uh, we were just, it's, it's an honor. I mean, these landmark, these guys build incredible homes and incredible developments. We're just extremely happy to be a part of it. That's Very so cool. exciting. Very cool. So I kind of feel like this is, when we like when we first interviewed Evil Genius, mm -hmm. and we said we can't wait until the first time we record at your brewery. Yeah, that's true. Because yeah. we did so many episodes with them in the basement at yeah. Random Fest first, and I kind of feel like you're the one stepping in. Like Evil Genius now has their location, and we've recorded there. But I kind of feel like I'm really looking forward to when we get to come to Mechanicsburg and record oh, with we'll you love to at have the location. You. That's going to be have you guys. amazing because we've sort of been following you ever since the the beginning, the inception of all of this, and. It has wait. been a long time coming, yeah. but we're happy to finally yeah. have that location. It's not a myth. So <laughs> yeah, right. Do you feel a sense of relief now that that, that, that you've taken this step, or is it even it is, more stressful no, now? No, it's going to be a brief bit of yes. relief, <laughs> and then all of a sudden, tons exactly. more stress. <laughs> exactly. The brief relief is great. Finally, I signed uh, the agreement yesterday. It was... Uh, you know, it's a it's a load off your shoulders because people just well, where are you? Where are you? And it's just we didn't want to be premature. We wanted to make sure that things were completely solid. Nothing can change. Um, so we're just waiting on the weather now. Unfortunately, yeah. we just hope we don't have rain like last year because that I think that set them back six months. Wow. wow. So we're Jeez. hoping. They said potentially this year, but most likely it's a March or April breaking ground. And we mm -hmm. hope uh, eight months after we break ground, we hope we're operational and open our doors. Wow. It's amazing, you know, like you wouldn't think of it uh, if you're not sort of tied into the beer industry in mm -hmm. some way, how long it really takes yeah. just to go from saying, like, I definitely want to open a brewery to it becoming a reality. It's not a simple process by any means. Yeah, per is permits, not, location yeah. scouting, buying the location, getting the construction crew, getting the contractors in there, getting the brew equipment building the brew equipment, opening up, and then getting everything approved after that, too. Like it's, oh, yeah. I'm sure I'm missing some steps. That's just what I yeah. gather from talking to people over the years who have done this. It's just it's immense what you it, have to go through. It's also getting your and beer I, out there and getting in front of yeah. people coming oh, yeah. to fest like this. So, like, when you do open, people know who you are. Yeah. And they I are, really are hope we're not... By. I really hope we're not scaring you more by talking no, about no, how no, much no, work no. you have ahead of you. Yeah, I think no. I'm pretty sure he knows. <laughs> I think there, there's a there's a 63.7 percent chance you're going to be bankrupt in six months. <laughs> yeah, <judging by. laughs> Can we just drink the beer? Already? Let's oh. drink the beer. Yeah. First oh, yeah. of all, you win for prettiest beer. Ooh, so look far. at that! Oh, thank you. Yeah. Isn't it gorgeous? No, it's just like the cobbler your grandmother used to make. Uh, we yeah. used uh, boysenberry, blueberry, blackberry, raspberry, and strawberry. 
Did I say blueberry? I believe so blueberry five, was yeah, so five, blueberry, five berries. Berry, uh, blackberry, we had some sure. nutmeg, cinnamon, and vanilla bean. And a little bit of graham cracker just to give it that you know, proper flavor. And that's what take this, takes this beer to the next level. Because it's not just all sweet, fruit, fruit, fruit. The nuances of those other additions really make this quite complex. Well, and I think like, like beers like this are usually really, really good. But I don't usually think of them as being complex. Kind of like the Imperial Stouts that we've been drinking. But I think that those are some really, really smart additions. And you're really good at that. And I'm, that's what I'm most excited oh about for you. Thank you. Is your ability to think about each tiny little ingredient that's going in and what it's going to bring to the beer. And I think that's why I like your beer so much. I feel like cool, I'm drinking you. Cobbler. Yeah, yeah, this it, is it, incredible. Yeah, don't like a finish nice that. No, I, I won't. I'm going to take another <laughs> sip and I'll pass it back down. I promise. Hey, we'll get you some more. We'll get There's more out there. It's like a nice, yeah, like a nice tart cobbler filling. It's really nice. Oh what's uh, what's the ABV on this one? Eight and a half percent. Wow, I wouldn't have thought. So no, so it started <laughs> started much higher, but when with the amount of fruit that went into it, yeah. even though it fermented with the fruit, uh, when you have an IA, high ABV beer and you put that much fruit into it, it, it slows it down and the mm. ABV drops a little bit. When you're making these beers, because right now you're making them on a very modest system, do you often think about or worry about taking them to a larger scale, like converting those recipes and even the cost of all of the ingredients? I do, I do. A lot of these beers, I've been doing a lot of collaborations with a lot of commercial breweries, and I've seen a lot of the scaling up. So I feel more comfortable, but it still scares the crap out of me. Yeah. You know, it's just that you're taking a, a beer that's 5 to 12 gallons, and you're converting it into, a, we're going to have a 10-barrel system. Uh, that will do 20 barrel batches as well, uh, but yeah, that the the cost and everything that goes into it does scare me. But we've looked into it. Uh, it's taken us so long to get to this point, so we've done a lot of research and got a lot of uh, pro formas and all, all that uh, financial crap that nobody <laughs> enjoys. But yeah, it's it's definitely this beer would be quite pricey. Yeah. Yeah, but worth it. But worth it. Definitely totally worth, worth it. it. And then on the other end of the spectrum here. What is this? So this is a triple IPA. It's 10.5%. It's oh made gosh. singularly with Strata hops. Oh. So Strata. Oh, now I get the name. Yeah, so reaching the Strata sphere. <laughs> <laughs> so this it has a lot of flavors of passion fruit, grapefruit, strawberry, but it has a uh, descriptor crap. of cannabis. You know, it has oh. that dank pininess. Mm-hmm. Uh, this but is, it is really freaking good. Well, I'm glad you like it. And I'm usually the girl that's like, ew, it's an IPA. One, one of my favorite <laughs> new hops. You know, I, I really like it, even though it's that hard to get. Uh, but I think it's so really... So all of that is just from that hop? Correct. Wow. That it's is like just a tropical explosion in your mouth. Two row malt notes, and then just that hop alone. Definitely smells dank. Yeah. I think it smells danker than it tastes, yeah. but you do get that in the finish. Mm. It tastes like there's fruit juice in it, yeah. but I mm. promise there's not. <laughs> yeah. It is very like, tropical, like you said. Yeah. Yeah, and then it has a nice, dank, bitter tail end to it. Wow. Yeah. I love a good single hop beer. It's so it's, cool to like yeah. see everything that a single hop brings brings to it. I love to do that. That's a part of our single hop series. We do uh, a lot of our triple IPAs. I just really like that because you can use so many hops to really get the true flavor of it without trying to make it abrasive because there's no alcohol or malt backbone to back it up. Wow. You said it's... 10 something percent? 10.5%. 10. 10. 10. I don't know that I would put it at that. Is this the first we've crested into double digits on the uh, official episode so far? No, we, we started with the Windridge. Like, oh, oh, yeah. oh, that's right. I was say that one's. Yeah, that, that one we started with. High. That's right. God, I can't get over that cobbler beer. I mean, the IPA is great, of course, but that cobbler beer. So oh. Yeah, yeah. What, that's was, really what nice. was the name of that one? So, Very Berry Cobbler very Sorbet. So, sorbet. we have a sorbet series of sour ales. Uh, a lot of them have lactose, some have maltodextrin to be friendly to those dairy intolerant people um, but to try to create the it, it's like melted sorbet or ice cream is what we're trying to go for for yeah. a lot of these that is so good we've definitely gotten there that's really nice yeah we'll get <laughs> wow. you so, we'll get you some more Glad yeah i'm gonna like need it. some more by the end of the day <laughs> we have a lot more beers to drink i know i know that's gonna be one too. i have to circle back around to <laughs> if i'm sure i'm okay I, Derek, can't thank you enough for coming back up here. These beers are incredible. We're looking forward to getting to your location and finally seeing what you guys have in store and what you've been concocting after all these years. Uh, I appreciate it, guys. It was an honor to be on here, and hope you guys have a good rest of your day. And <laughs> you too, man. Plenty of beers to come, and they're all delicious. Yeah, I'm sure they uh, will. Forward to it. I hope dangerous. The, hope the fest treats you well. Have fun out there. Hey, yeah. thanks, guys. Thank Cheers, you. Have a good day. Good Take care. It wouldn't be a little big beer fest if we didn't have 
the awesome people from Haymower Brewing. We've got Brooks and Shannon. How are you guys? Great, guys. How are you doing, doing today? Well. Doing fantastic. Uh, I love that you guys are here in your uh, Kentucky Derby getups. Happy Derby that Day. Happy Derby Day to you as well. <laughs> uh, I forgot it was Derby Day until we got here, and I was reminded because you were in your... your, your uh, your your refinement regalia your, your regalia. There we yes. are. Yeah, we clean up well, don't we? Yes. Yes. I see. For me, it's just Star Wars Day. I, it's <laughs> May the Fourth. That's where my brain's at. There's that nerd brain that we yeah. were talking about before we officially started. Uh, and Steph now has her hat on as well. Lovely. I have multiple costume changes. Yes. Lovely. Yeah. I yeah. appreciate the commitment to that. Nice. Yeah. I, unfortunately, the listeners at home can't see it, but there's a lot of really awesome visuals going on. Well, in that is episode. why. That's why you, you follow us follow. on the socials. Yes. At Beer Busters, Instagram, and Twitter. And BeerBusterPodcast.com, BeerBusterPodcast on Facebook. You know the show. Yada, yada, yada. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's the internet. You'll find it, us. Yeah, you'll you'll find us wherever you need to. Uh, so how has the fest been treating you guys so far? It's great. Uh, the uh, the Mint Julep uh, has been going over very, very well. It's kind it's of the uh, buzz of the uh, of the crowd. So it's awesome. Uh, yeah, very fitting for today. Obviously, being Derby Day, wanted to uh, to bring something that can... Uh, really stand out with a crowd and uh you know since uh you want to be the part you might as well dress the part as well too so <laughs> that's why we're uh, dressed to the nine so to speak and uh and if i would have oh. known i would have dressed up as a horse nay nay <laughs> i might just keep this one. Oh, oh no is, is that, that the, the mint julep, julep? Yep. oh yeah. boy tell us about this beautifulness well i mean this is actually a beer i've actually i've never brewed with mint before so this is really kind of taking the shotgun in the hip and just but you've brewed with dill right very true yes i feel like it's natural but i I use it in a different way the dill i use kind of as a uh, a tincture but uh, this one i kind of just as a what as a tincture a tincture yeah you don't know the brewing term tincture no okay tincture tincture so basically you take t-i-n i don't know i can't spell (laughs) i just make beer i'm stupid (laughs) so basically you take and you add a to it and it extracts the flavor and the color from it and then you add to that as a flavoring so now i just gave out the secret to the <laughs> dill pale ale that's okay Sorry. everybody knows that's all right we can bleep that if you want absolutely that okay be- <laughs> yep. that's what we can do god i haven't bleeped anything in a while <laughs> you have to bleep the secrets uh but but anyways with uh with that just you know Remember last year was here. I told Steph that uh, we had to wear a big hat, and I forget the patron who was here. James. Last, James, James totally called it, totally called it right from the get yep, get go yep. with a mint julep. Yep. And uh, unfortunately, I have to apologize. We've just been so busy building the brewery that I haven't really had time to really you know stoke up the fire of people's interest of what it's going to be <laughs> uh, for it. But uh, yeah, just kind of brewed it just a, a strong ale, golden strong ale up. Uh, Added it uh, to some oak that was uh, aged and uh, you know soaked in bourbon, mm. aged it for a little while, and the oak that's what it is. Yeah. And then uh, threw some mint at it, and oh one day God. just tasted literally, it. Whoosh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then tasted it, and yeah, tasted goodish. I mean, kind of tasted like toothpaste to me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I'm like, yeah, way too much mint. So this got to go in the keg. But I'm but trying it here today. Um, very surprised on how the mint has really mellowed and yeah. it all kind of incorporates itself and it's very 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 smooth uh, smooth drinking I'm I, very proud proud of the beer yeah it's very. delicious and it's amazing how much you still get the base beer too <laughs> exactly like definitely the mint comes at you right away but the more you drink it it is super well balanced and quite tasty yeah it, it turned out very well I'm very 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 pleased with how it turned out uh, for it so I'm thinking when we finally go go uh, go uh, real game with uh, with the business uh, I think it may be a Derby Day uh, annual event yes. to have this it beer it has to be cool. yeah. 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 yeah I mean what, sure. what, what a great because uh, you know obviously Derby Day always lands on a Saturday so you know get everyone together you know uh, give it a bottle release and a couple kegs of it and have a good old time and then watch the race yeah sounds awesome well uh, speaking of going into the, the big leagues the yeah. big game how are things uh, progressing on that front to be honest I, i'm fucking exhausted <laughs> <laughs> that's fair i'm mentally physically emotionally just absolutely a- you have you have very thick business cards yes <laughs> that's a start that's what, yeah. uh yeah so I, just for the last i'd say what four or six months i've been just busy at it you know 10 30 11 o'clock every night out out in the uh in the garage you're building the brewery um six eight weeks hopefully that will be uh, open for production 
Wow. Uh, we just that's soon. Yeah. Well, well it's, it's two years in the making. Yeah, yeah. but still, <laughs> yeah. I can't, it seems like just yesterday we met you. I mean, time has definitely flown, but it's a lot of beers ago, actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Time goes uh, too fast. But yeah, it's it's it just coming coming to the finish line. Um, you know, hot water uh, heater came yesterday, so I was working on that. Tonight, I got to brew a beer for another festival, and I'm be working on on the brewery while making beer. Uh, so I need a vacation. We both need, Shannon and I need a vacation. Yes. Just just get away to mentally, you know, uh, reset ourselves. Yeah. But uh, another bit of exciting news, we just started negotiations on a taproom location in the Dillsburg area. Awesome. Yay. Cool. So if all goes well, uh, I, I'm curiously optimistic that uh, Labor Day I'm throwing oh, out cool. there wow. a Labor Day opening. I mean, I think that's rather aggressive. Yeah, that's, so, that's a quick so turnaround. spring 2020. No. <laughs> <laughs> we yeah. never met a brewery owner that actually opened when they said they were going to open. That's probably true, yeah. 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 Well, unfortunately, there's a lot of freaking red tape to go along <laughs> yeah, with that. Yeah, you know? yeah, uh, yeah. But you know, it, it'll happen soon. I mean, we're, we're, we're gaining speed, and uh, we're, we're getting very, very close to the finish line. I can't fucking wait. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, we, we just said it to Derek, and I think it applies to you as well. It, it's really exciting because we've been following you and Derek sort of throughout your whole process mm-hmm. and the, the growing pains and, and yeah. working towards opening. And uh, I'm really excited for us to come out and actually oh, record an episode at your brewery. It seems like it's a long time coming and it, it is it's been been a labor of love um you know but i couldn't do it with my beautiful bride here to my side Aww. shannon i in all honesty i just do the hard work she's the one that's you know supportive for me and watches our children and uh, designs the business cards yeah and, well, and, business and, cards, and you yeah. also have a business of your own yes do you want to plug that quick sure so i shoot boudoir and uh, i've been doing that for five years i have a studio in downtown carlisle and um it's just a great way for women to come out, feel confident, feel beautiful, and, and have a lot of fun. That's so yep. awesome. She has Jen Haymauer Photography. So check it out, ladies. Absolutely. And gentlemen. Could be a good gift. Yeah, absolutely. Like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, absolutely. Great. Absolutely. So we do have one more beer. Sure. So this is the Brute Champagne IPA. Ooh. So buddy. this is a style that's uh, very popular. Started out in San Francisco and it's been kind of working its way east. Um, the big thing with this beer is that uh, how dry it is. So you know, typical beer, you know, finishing gravity, or you know, you're at you know, 1.05, but this one actually goes below 1 1.0, which is like wow. What is it? Water. Water <laughs> is one one zero zero. Yeah. It finished up at like 0.997, so it's super super dry. Uh, very uh, effervescent, uh, as well as the hops I used uh, get the uh, the grape character uh, to it as well too, and taste and aroma for it. It's uh, it's one I've done several times. It's gone over very well, uh, so I figured to uh, match with the Derby Day beer, you might as well uh, toast something when your uh, your racehorse finishes first, and you get to go collect some money. Oh, yeah, it's I like good that. celebration. Yeah, yeah this is absolutely this is great. Thank I don't you. think I've ever had a brute IPA that was eight percent. Typically, they're they're lower, lower yeah. in alcohol. Yeah, and so that's it's almost like an imperial brute IPA. Yeah, uh, yeah, I guess you could call it call it that. I mean, I'll it's just that, that and that's the the thing with that enzyme that you use that it just drops the gravity yeah. down there. I mean, so you don't have to use as much grain to get the you know to get the alcohol out of it, and then it's just it's it's wonderful. I, I I'm very pleased with it. Turned out very well. And uh, it's probably going to be one we brew on occasion uh, at, at the brewery, but uh, probably not something a uh, flagship beer. But yeah. we'll see what happens. Dan, when you swallow it, it's almost like Thanos snapping his fingers. It just dusts away. Wow. You like that? You're so proud of yourself for knowing that reference. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> and You're half, welcome. half the hops in the world just disappeared? Is that what we decided? <laughs> yeah. Last time we talked about Thanos when yeah. you were doing Know Your Hops. Yeah. Yeah, when you interrupt me when I'm trying or, to teach the world things. Or, or either, either that or it was a metaphor for the planet being eradicated of all the people that you personally dislike. <laughs> we haven't really decided what you meant by that. but Yeah, on that note. Cheers to Brute IPAs being more popular than New England IPAs. Yes. Well, try to get some sleep, guys. Wow. And I feel like you definitely need that vacation. Yes, yes, we, we do. It will come eventually. Someplace warm on a beach when it's freezing Good. cold here. Yeah. Good. Um, ship ship, uh, ship the kids out to the grandparents, and uh, <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll have a good old time <laughs> just relaxing, drinking some beer. That's awesome. <laughs> But uh, thanks for thanks again for having us. We love seeing yeah, you guys. Uh, likewise. I was just actually yesterday listening to, to the latest podcast while Yay. I was work, working on the... Uh, awesome. So I, I had to call you out, though, Steph, because uh, I remember you had said something about a pickle beer, how I've been wanting someone to make a pickle beer oh. for all these oh, years. Oh, damn it. 
that's okay. right. You did say that. I yeah, that it's been yeah. recorded. Yeah. Both oh. of them. That's right. I all even need to retract my comments. Yes. You're right. That's you are okay. absolutely right. I'll just like bust, busting me. stones. It's no, okay. please. <laughs> I can handle people busting on me now. I will never forget the first trolls we had. Oh yeah, like, you were the first year. <laughs> you didn't know how to I handle. You said very, something very wrong seriously. on the internet. Like you, no, <laughs> I know. that's not possible. It was hard, and now I'm like, oops, uh, sorry guys. And no, you, and today you learned with tincture. 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 Yeah. Tincture. tincture yeah. I don't know how to spell. Like I said, I'm terrible at spelling. See, like, so. I've heard of tincture. Maybe that's how you pronounce and it. And maybe that's know. the same. Uh, so it's I basically just, like an like an alcohol extract. Pretty much, yeah. Something. Exactly yeah. what it what it is. I learned yeah. a new word. There you go. And the dill beer will be a flagship beer. I mean, you will probably be in yeah I yeah. Mean, abs- come on. And I think we have talked about this. Yeah before. yeah. I mean, I'm I'm trying to narrow down exactly which which beers we're gonna have on a on a day to day basis. I mean, and ultimately, I'm gonna just try things, see how how well they sell, and yeah. obviously, you're gonna give your crowd what what they're requesting. We got bills to pay. We got <laughs> yep. yep. We got we got a mortgage that we got to pay. So but you also have to give them what they don't know they want. Very true. So that's why you give them options yes. out there. So once they have the options, things will go well. Yeah. Things will go well. But yeah. w- once again, thank you very much for having us. We always love seeing you, and I can't wait to. We can have two uh, podcasts. We can have one at the garage. Yes. yes. The production facility. <laughs> part one and part once, two. Part one, part two. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. That would I be love cool. It. I so, love it. And yeah. the, I assume the Fruity Pebble beer will come back, right? Oh, absolutely. Okay. <laughs> Good. Nice. Absolutely. Awesome. Maybe a little peep here and there, too. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I, I was thinking about that one the other day. <laughs> that is awesome. Brooks is not afraid to put anything in a beer, <laughs> let's be honest. Within reason. <laughs> within reason. <laughs> within reason but, so uh, no whale tesco with beers. What was that? Iceland? The yeah. whale test. Oh, yeah. yeah. And yeah. use other forms of yeast from oh, other yeah. nether regions. The vagina Places. beer. Yeah. 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 <laughs> did you get a taste of that last no, year? No, I haven't. No. Um, well, you I, I did. That's quite all right. Don't worry. That's quite all right. <laughs> it was nothing yeah. special. Maybe someday. Maybe yeah. someday. <laughs> Maybe someday. <laughs> uh, well, all guys, right. thank you so much oh, for coming to the table us. with us. Uh, and and we'd love to come out when you when you open so we can we can record. We'll be in touch. Awesome. Cool. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Say you bond. Uh, remember when I said I'd have to send away to NASA to calculate your bar tab? <laughs> oh, yeah. We all had a good laugh, Mo. The results came back today. <clears throat> you owe me $70 billion. Hey, Siri. What is Tagalog? I found something on the web about what is Tagalog. Check it out. Thanks. I was hoping you were going to be a little more articulate. Apparently, it's a language. Do you want to learn how to speak it? Well, if you do, Rosetta Stone can help. They set the standard in learning to enable people to change their world by learning a new language through innovative technology-driven language learning solutions used by thousands of schools, businesses, and even the government. Millions of people around the world have learned to speak new languages with Rosetta Stone. They have common stuff like English, Spanish, and Mandarin. They also have more obscure languages like the aforementioned Tagalog, Swahili, and Swedish. They have apps available on iOS and Android, so you can take your learning with you. Also, for listeners of Beer Busters, they are offering a 24-month subscription for less than $8 per month. To get in on that offer, you can go to rosettapodcast.com slash beerbusters. Two years of Rosetta Stone, less than $8 a month at rosettapodcast.com slash beerbusters. Well, the magic of Little Big Beer Fest is continuing because I believe, and correct me if I'm wrong, I think we first met our next guest at a Little Big Beer Fest. That sounds right. Booked the recording, did a full episode. Uh, it was the end of 2018. What mm-hmm. year are we? Yeah, we're in 2019, <laughs> right? What year is it? Yeah, I, somewhere I around to, there. It would have been September 2019. Considering I had to think about Late how to September. spell my own name earlier, I'm not surprised. I forgot what year it is. Uh, but coming back to the table now is Jeff from Millworks. Jeff, how are you? I'm I'm great. How are you guys? Doing fantastic. Very good. Very awesome. good. Much that? better than the last time <laughs> yeah, I saw yeah. you. Yeah. yeah, you're a little mo- more mobile. <laughs> Jeff's leg is now working properly. <laughs> yeah, it's good. For the, that. For, yeah. for the most part. For the most part. For the most part, yeah. <laughs> well, uh, how's the fest been going for you so far? So far, so good, man. This good. is... Good, this good. is it, this one's a blast. Yeah, you know. It's, oh yeah, a favorite of ours. Yeah, it, this fest is incredible. It's, it, I mean, I love heavier ABV beers just because it takes more to get me drunk normally. So <laughs> this is like the cheaper way for me to coast. Uh, yeah. but no, this, it's so much fun. Uh, the ladies behind Harrisburg Beer Week, uh, they know what they're doing with this, and this is the fifth one, which is crazy to think of. But each one is just knocking it out of the ballpark. Yeah, yeah. It's and you know, with every new brewer. That's coming into the game. The the bar just keeps getting raised, and people getting more creative. It's it's just kind of cool to see what people are coming up with. Yeah, it's really awesome. One of the cool things about this fest, I don't think we really touched on too much earlier when we were talking uh, with Colleen and Tierney, is that everybody here, like from the the breweries especially, like 
everybody knows everybody else. It's like very like close knit community, and every year. Uh, for Harrisburg Beer Week, and particularly for us for this fest, because this is one of the few things we get to get out this way for. Uh, it's great to see everybody again and yeah. like, catch up with everyone. And it's and you know there's always a couple of new faces, but then you know old faces uh, and everything that they've been up to. So speaking of which, what's going on uh, with Millworks? How things been? Yeah, things have been great. Um, you know, we've just been trying to stay ahead of things. Uh, we got our rooftop opening up here very shortly. Cool. Takes us a little bit of uh, time to get. <laughs> get it rehabbed for the summer yeah um we were hoping for this weekend but weather's not looking great Mm -hmm. uh we recently just started canning as well so awesome uh, that's going real well um yeah i don't know what to (laughs) say we keep chugging along we have three delicious beers in front of us yeah Yeah, we should probably demand it it. all right so what is this one let's start with the barley one okay so that's our uh rye whiskey barrel aged barley wine so that's uh aged in dad's hat rye whiskey barrels We've developed a pretty good uh, collaborative uh, partnership with That's those so guys. Good. Smells boozy. Have, have, did we drink a barley wine last time? <clears throat> I'm almost positive we yeah. probably had at well, least two of these before. Because I, I, and I remember this from a previous time you were on the show. You are making me a believer of barley wine. <laughs> oh, good. I've said it before. <laughs> yeah. They're not my favorite style, but and usually it's because they're so thick and yeah. super sweet, and it, it's definitely sweet, but. It's so complex and flavorful, and it doesn't linger too much and, like, make your mouth all thick. I don't know. It's nice and boozy. It's got that nice, like, stone fruit. Yeah. Like, yeah. You know, like and the malt character is just so awesome. Prune kind of character going on. Yeah. So normally when we share beers, you will hand one to me. And you have this. Well, I heard one break. Oh, That's not good. Oh, we got a broken goes. glass. No. It, it begins. Yep. The first of yep. many. <laughs> Uh, you'll always motion me, Wayne, as if like you think I'll really like this beer. Like it's right up my alley. Yeah, I usually be like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Do you know how many times you've done that so far? Like every, seven every time. Every yeah. time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They, these are the kind of beers that you like, mm-hmm. and every time I try one, I'm like, oh yeah, this Dan's gonna like this. <laughs> well, you're right. I do really like this. <laughs> well, you can't go wrong with Dad's Hat. We're so lucky to have them yeah. in Pennsylvania. They mm. do great stuff, and every I feel like every time a PA brewer puts a beer in one of their barrels, it's just like you can't go wrong. Yeah, it's you know, it's I I think it's a good base beer to begin with but then you just age it in those barrels they're buying top-notch barrels they're making top top-notch spirits and then you put the beer in and it just i don't know just smooths it out rounds it out where gives they, it a nice complexity where are they based out of they're oh man you're putting me on the spot it's uh <laughs> northern like suburban philly uh i'm fact checking bristol bristol. bristol there you go there you oh, go oh okay that's not yeah. far well um, from us <laughs> 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 for me yeah yeah but, does anyone remember when we were at Millworks? There was a bottle you dug out. Yeah, oh, I was trying yeah. to think of that too. For I think that call. was. I think that was well, the. That this? Yeah, I think that the was the Raspberry that Imperial Stout. That sounds right. Oh, here it is. Okay, hold on. Yeah, I believe I. Ah, it was. I lost yeah, it, it was. was a year yeah, because there was a raspberry one and there was a coffee something or other, and I remember I put them together and it. No, oh, it was yeah, blue, it was blueberry. That's right. It was That's blueberry because right. I remember the next morning I was going to a golf scramble and I actually got blueberry coffee because I liked the combination <laughs> so much. Yep. Barrel aged black raspberry yeah. imperial stout. Yep. Yeah, that's what happens oh, at the end raspberry? of the show. You combine All things. Right. Yeah, we Where talked we about a lot of mushrooms too. Sorry. Oh, mm. I don't remember that. I don't <laughs> it was the end of the night. Oh, okay. That's true. I think it? I said this when we had it last time. It literally tastes like you're eating a dark chocolate raspberry truffle. Yeah, yeah, with that's, a little booze. That's kind of what I was going for. It's, it's so good. Yeah, I think I'm, I think you're gonna like this one. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have an idea too. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, oh. It, it really does. Yeah, the raspberry is so. It's not super overpowering. It's not super sweet either. It's a nice, like, really it's fresh. fresh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I, you know, I. My personal approach on developing beers is all about balance. I don't want mm. any one ingredient to like stand out unless it needs to. Right. Mm. So this one was just kind of like combined all those elements: stout, barrel, berries. Uh, I, don't know. That's I think it turned what out pretty well. Should have called it stout. <laughs> barrel, <laughs> That's not far off from the way yeah. we name beers in the works. We're we're very creative. Boom. <laughs> boom. Yeah. Right. Yeah, boom. Mic drop. Mic drop. <laughs> Well, oh, this so one good. actually has a name. This one does. Yeah, we we um, have developed names for our year-round beers, which is only like five of them. Uh, so this is our standard double IPA uh, oh. haymaker, eight and a half percent. It's like lemony. Yeah, I think there's a lot of a lot of citrus kind of going on to it. Um, standard kind of modern hop, Citra Mosaic, El Dorado. Uh, I definitely like again balance in my beer. So there is definitely like a malt component to this to this IPA. 
Um, it's not just smack in the face hops. I actually like, like the way because uh, it's it's kind of crisp mm-hmm. and it sort of cuts through and cleans up that the the blueberry from the last beer. Oh, there, like it's, there you it go. It follows yeah. it up really nicely. Oh, okay. I've never drank this two side by side. Yeah, I yeah. It's almost kind of the thing you think of, like that wouldn't work so well going from one to the other, but uh, it does. Huh? It does. Yeah, you're yeah. right. Yeah, it kind of cleans out the that that like that desserty character. Yeah, the previous one's definitely a dessert in the glass. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, that yeah. one probably cut it, kind of cut it a little bit. Mm-hmm. Oh. Very nice. Very nice. Well, thank you. So any exciting things coming up in the future? Any crazy new beers you're going to be doing soon? Any events? Uh, I mean, we don't get too, too terribly crazy. Like, yeah. uh, I've got a couple of loggers coming out that I'm, that's I'm, a, I'm like exciting. a logger dude. Yeah, so, yeah that's uh, perfect. Yes. Yeah, I got, uh, well, we just released our uh, Mexican lager for, for Beer Week, which is super quaffable light style lager um i got a pilsner like the german pilsner right. that you guys yep. yeah there you go yeah, got our attention. Attention. <laughs> yep. uh, sorry we had a side production meeting <laughs> and then i heard pilsner uh we got a pilsner coming out again in in the summertime uh i did a small batch of like an imperial pilsner so that'll be kind of oh, fun nice. uh, fancy yeah i'm i'm definitely like a lager guy the more i get into this industry a lot of brewers are yeah. a lot of people that yeah. brew like to drink lagers yeah. well and i feel like if you if you really care about the craft of making beer, like lagers kind of exemplify that attention to process and like Yeah, I think I think Steph nailed it, which is like the more you're into this industry, the more you really appreciate those. I yeah. think yeah. a lot of a lot of consumers think they're just very simple beers. And they are. They're simple beers but in they're not recipe, simple to make. But they're not simple to make. <laughs> yeah, There's exactly. really nothing to hide behind. So um, I personally like the challenge of brewing them and I like Drinking them, you know. Yeah. I like having more than one beer. So. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's true too. It's nice to have a beer you can kind of like take a nice yeah. healthy swig of and yeah. not be like, but not at this fest. This is not the well, no, no. Show. This is not the we right. We do festival have for a cr- isn't it's a pilsner, right? The crowler. Oh, oh we yeah. do. Yeah. We have a crowler of Saint Ben pilsner in the cooler. Oh, I kind of nice. feel like that's what we're gonna pound during last call. We should. Today is their last day. We should. Totally that's true. Do we should do it in their honor. I bought. I actually bought a bottle of their barley wine last night too, which we'll would have been perfect. That. But my plan was to save that for like a long time. Well, not too long. Oh yeah, a couple I, years, but not. But that's what I mean, like at least a couple years, so yeah. I can be like, remember. So, and make Benjamin? sure you're storing it properly. Yes. We need to have a conversation after. <laughs> yeah, sorry. You need to make sure you're taking care. Put of Put it that. in your trunk of your car. Yeah. Let it there for just, the next four and, years. And like just like gun it over a bunch yeah. of speed bumps. Yeah, so yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, pothole. We can do that in Philly easily. Yeah. 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 Or, or speed sure. cushions. Speed <laughs> cushions. Cushions. Anyway, we are getting <laughs> off topic. Yeah. <laughs> Well, Jeff, it's always good to see you, and your beers are killing it, and oh, we love thanks. them. So keep doing what you're doing, and we'll have to get back out. And yep. uh, I would love to get there when the it's roof. yeah, exactly. Yeah, when the weather's nice, and we can we go should outside. just come and hang out and drink some beers on the roof, and just leave all this at home. Yeah. Well, you, you can definitely do that. Yeah. I'm not going to turn you away for sure. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Just hang out. You, get, you can have a beer on me. Oh, oh thank you. Thanks. You're yeah, the best. absolutely. <laughs> Pilsner, please. Oh, Pilsner. Yeah. 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 Steph's already reserving hers. <laughs> well, enjoy and you'll want the raspberry imperial. Yeah, stout, probably. Yeah. There's going to be some of that. I'll have you know. I try to have a little bit of something for. We'll take the train out. That way, I don't have to drive. Oh, that's a really good idea. It's just expensive that way. Well, you know, it's fine. Or yeah. you could drive to our house, and we could all drive together. Yeah, that's true too. We'll figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we'll see you whenever that is. Of yes. course. Yeah. <laughs> Until then, keep making loggers. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. Keep doing that. <laughs> that should be our exit. <laughs> the end of the. Yeah. <laughs> Until next time. Keep, keep doing loggers. Oh my God. Maybe. Maybe. I think we'll, we just created a thing. May, right. Maybe we'll repa- we'll replace the squids with that. Okay. There so. you go. <laughs> all right. Oh God. Thank you. Uh, yeah, you're very Jeff, welcome, thank guys. you so much, man. My <laughs> pleasure. <laughs> Over the years, we have had somebody on from our next brewery multiple times, many people. We've uh, gone to events there. We have met another brewer that we've had on countless times. But it's been a long time since we have had Mike Weiser brewer. on the show. Yeah, a very young brewer. But it's been a while since we've had Mike Weiser on the show. I don't get out much anymore. Hey, that's quite <laughs> all right. But that can only mean Mike is here from Free Will. How are you, Mike? I am doing fantastic. It's Little Big Beer Fest, and it's the only event I'm actually going to be able to make for Harrisburg Beer Week, but I wouldn't miss it. Yeah, this, if you're going to make it to one, this is the one. It is. It really is. A lot of one-off beers that you're not going to see anywhere else. Yep. Exactly. So. Yeah. Well, you, you started uh, me and Wayne off with a super powerful beer before we had even eaten today. You, well, you, I mean, everybody that comes, we're right by the door. Everybody that comes in with a fresh glass, like, I mean, it's a little big beer fest. If you're going to start big, it might yeah. as well be yeah. a 14% beer. Well, we didn't beer. even pass mm-hmm. your stand. We came, so we're in the podcast hallway here. I almost said alley. 
Uh, and then we Ooh, went I like in, Podcast Alley. We okay. went Alley, into yeah. the, the, the event space. We're walking around. We're standing at the one booth, and you come over with a can of beer and pour it in our glasses. And you're like, yeah, that's, that's 14%. Well, I mean, would you want me to not well, bring no. you beer? I mean, no. I appreciate <laughs> you bringing us beer. But yeah, it's, I just, it's, it sounded like you were complaining there. I know. Second. No, no, he did a, a, a great service, and I had not had my my official uh, little big beer fest taster glass in my hand, not but two minutes, and you come That's by true. with a can, That's yeah. ready to give me some beer. Bart Bart was over there setting up earlier, and he didn't have a glass at all. So after I got down towards the end of a can, I just told just him, dump it in his mouth. Oh, I told him tilt your head back. <laughs> yeah. Yep, nice. Yeah, and Bart is the one person that would do that without question. Well, he did the first <laughs> one with, with uh, the Satisfying Chaos. He's like, did I just take a shot? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> more or less. Not too close far to off. it. Well, I'm already sp- sipping on speaking it. Speaking of, let's, let's, let's try this one again. So this is Satisfying Chaos, a 14% chocolate imperial stout. stout yes. Correct. It okay. does not taste like 14%. You know, I actually, when the first time I tried it, I thought the opposite. I thought really? it, it was actually, now, it was my, I hadn't had a big beer for a while. So it could have just been my palate being a little bit off. I thought it was still a little bit hot. But today, having it, it definitely doesn't seem that way. It's got... It's bold. Oh, you know what, though? When it lingers in your yeah. mouth, it's like... It's at the end. Gotcha. Can, <laughs> I mean, you know John's beers, like some of our bigger ones, that he's mm. pretty good at hiding the heat and the booze. This one, maybe it's because it hasn't had a whole lot of chance to mellow. It was just released, I think, three weeks ago, four maybe. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think this one's still a little bit hot, but... It's not overbearing by any yeah, means. Yeah, and what I, I don't get, like, the super, like, bourbon heat. There's no bur- there's no, It's not barrel aged. Well, that, well, that's the thing. Yeah. It's not barrel aged, and that's usually what I expect when I... But even, like, that, that hot, like, alcohol, it's it's more, like, it's very thick. Like, you can tell there's, there's a lot of malt in there, which means there's a lot of fermentable sugars, which means there's a lot of alcohol. And then you get, like, the huge chocolate. And then, like Steph said at the tail end, it sort of lingers with well, this, like... And I don't know about you guys, but anytime I'm drinking a stout, there's nothing I dislike more than a thin stout, especially yeah. if it's high in alcohol. Mm-hmm. It's like it's got to oh, yeah. have the body to mm-hmm. back it up. It's got to have the body to back it up. Yeah, that's right. Back that body <laughs> up. <laughs> back it up. That's really good. Now, don't finish it because we're yep. going to have to mix it yep, with We're supposed the to mix this with I another beer coming I, up. I, I can bring more. That's Listen, fine. it's 14%. We're going to hold on to that. <laughs> <laughs> well, and the other one we have, uh, I guarantee you've had multiple times before. Mm-hmm. However, it's always a fan favorite. We've had much. We've had great reviews on it already today. Except I when have not had the 2018 so far yet. So People look at the, look at the tag and they're like, we're like, guys, it's 14% or 14%. I mean, <laughs> yeah. If it's Little Big Beer Fest. If it's your first time, I'm sorry. We, hey, at least we didn't bring Ralphius this time. We kept it away from 16%. Yeah. True. Well, this is Ella. I don't think we mentioned it yet. They're, they're Ella, Belgian quad. Ella, and Ella. I said this to Jeff with the barley wines, but I am usually not a barley wine and a quad fan, but I freaking love this beer. I really love Ella. I enjoy Belgians, but sometimes you know how they get that real Belgian-y flavor yeah, that's overpowering? Yeah, it's just too much. The apple brandy barrel in this, I have always loved this beer. It's people are over there. That's they, why I love they're, it. They're smelling it. Some person's like, "Oh, that just made my nose tingle." I'm like, there's a ton of stuff going on. <laughs> Tagline: and Ella, it'll make your nose tingle. <laughs> everything that happens with this beer, there's so much going on, and it just it cuts that Belgian-y flavor. Mm. There's everything else going on. I love it. I, it's I mean, a I'm sounding like a homer, beer. but no, I love it's a that phenomenal beer. beer. I love it so much. Can free will get any bigger? Like. Alcohol wise? No, I just mean like <laughs> I, by like awesomer. Like they're just like you free will's blowing it up. Like it's it, just amazing. It took about twelve minutes when they opened the doors for somebody to come ask me for a sour. <laughs> like, yeah. Do you have any sours well, here today? There's so nothing no. like free will sour Sunday. It is which they brought to, to um, Harrisburg Beer Week, yep. which was really, really cool for for the central PA folks that perhaps don't want to make the, the drive out there, but yeah, I mean, Sour Sunday, it is busy as fuck, and you got to fight for a seat if you're not there early, <laughs> but it is. Last time we were there uh, a couple months ago with a bunch of friends, we stopped at Freycon Farms first and got a bunch of, like, cookies and dips and breads and, like, all kinds of awesome stuff and cheeses, and we just laid out a big spread on one of the picnic <laughs> tables there and just drank every single sour on tap and just passed glasses around and... It, it's just, it is such a fun experience. If you've never gone to Free Will for a Sour Sunday, you seriously need to make it happen. But get there when the doors open. Last year we did it at Zero Day. Yeah, I was and there, yeah. I went up, I was at, I ended up bussing tables. <laughs> because, I mean, they had, they had plenty of staff there, but it yeah. was just, it was so busy so fast. 
they ran out of taster glasses for the flights in like the first 10 minutes. Oh my God. So I'm just walking around like I'm just grabbing. Hey, you done with that? I'm just, I'm not trying to rush you, but I'm just, I ended up busting tables the whole time. Yeah. Yeah. We went either before or after Port and PA. We went to see Port and PA. That was one of like the three times I saw it that week. <laughs> but, yeah. By the time people so came fun. out of the homebrew fest and over there, we were basically, I think there was all but, there was one sour that hadn't kicked. Everything else we had there had already kicked. It's insane. Wow. No, it's insane. You, and like, we were talking earlier with the uh, the guys from GK Visual about how beer has changed in the six years that we've been doing the podcast. And like, if you think back six, seven, eight years ago, like the idea of an American brewery being able to make a quality sour, mm-hmm. like, you know, you kind of like turned your nose up at an American sour. But now we have American breweries, especially Free Will, just making the most insane. I, I mean, I would put them up against most Belgian sours. Well, and I'm sure I mean, John it's, it's John would be unreal. the first to admit some of the first ones he tried, he messed up. Yeah. I mean, it's it, there's a definitely a learning curve, but... Well, and he, he's always been very respectful towards um, the Belgian traditions, mm-hmm. and I think the first time, what was it, we had a Lambic with him, and he, like, even refused to call it a Lambic or something. And, Originally, they started yeah. out calling him, that. then he took that trip over to Belgium, and mm-hmm. he came back, he said, I will not call my... I, I, he said to me, no more Lambics unless I can truly say they were brewed 100% yeah. in the Lambic style. Yeah, wow. he's just so respectful of that. And, yeah, sorry. I'll, I'll stop gushing now. <laughs> <laughs> and also, at his age, to still be kicking it out like that. Oh, my just... God. Stop it. I'm never going to hear the end of this. I'm actually sitting here drinking one of our uh, non-over-8% beers. A little, Wait, you uh, got beers you're hiding back there? I brought some beers that I didn't have to drink big beers all day. Mm-hmm. I brought a – this is uh, Love Letters from the 90s, a double dry hop. Yeah. It's only like 7% or something. <laughs> Steph reaches for it. <laughs> what, what else are you hiding? Uh, I actually did bring a couple cans of special cookie, which would qualify oh. for this event. Mm. Uh, I haven't, bu- haven't broken them out yet. Um, what else did I bring? I don't think I put any Ralphius in. I have a little bit of that left at the house. I don't think I put any Wait, is this in. the double dry hopped version? Yes. I have not checked this one in. Oh, oh. she's so happy now. Oh. What was the you one? Just, I just gave Steph a unique beer check. <laughs> yeah. That, I mean, that made my year yeah. right there. Yeah, pretty much. If I can only come out once a year and that happens, <laughs> then <laughs> that's hey, it. That's all you it. need. That's all you yeah. need. What was the one we had at uh, uh, Bruforia last year that I like lost my mind over? Oh, the cherry something uh, or other? The cake thing. Oh, uh, fuck. It was cake coffee. Thing. It was red. Coffee, coffee was in it. Cherry pie. Man, it would be one that I missed. Shit. I mean, we could look it up. Well, I mean, I've been so one of the reasons I haven't been out pouring at a lot of fests. I've been so busy with life. Yeah. I haven't made it out there. I keep seeing all these releases. I mean, I've probably missed twenty five <laughs> beers this year. Yeah. I mean, I, I love the fact that they're just knocking them out and kicking things out, but I just I feel bad. I was like, I just, I, I, but I want the beer and I can't go get the beer. <laughs> I really love the series of beers with all like the delicate herbs. Mm-hmm. Um, the one that the lavender, the dandelion, the chamomile. Those are just you know oh. that's all you know that's all Nate. Yeah, that's that that's Nate's baby. It's, that's his wheelhouse. They're so amazing, yeah. so delicate and so refreshing and. Yeah, I mean, I've John, had every one of those. John started, you know, John started getting into the sours, and then when Nate came on board, it just expanded mm-hmm. beyond that. It's I mean, his just baby. Uh, coffee cherry cream pie. There he is. Ah, uh, that was it. Anthony Wardle. Yep, coffee cherry cream pie. Look at that and craggle. Well, I haven't had craggle in forever. I need to get some. Yeah. It's it's almost boat season. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good. I mean, that's like an old standby, man. Boat like, season, that's, that's always season. good. Boat yeah. season, wabbit season. Well, I just season. moved to the lake, well, like a month or so ago, so. From a I'd, farm to a lake. Yes. You know how to live. Well, so are you not doing farm stuff anymore then? I am not. So uh, you're, you're, I never got any of your cider. Uh, I don't know if that's still going to happen or not. He, you missed the boat. Dad decided to sell the orchards. Uh, he's in his upper 60s now, and I guess he decided to sell the orchards. And Yeah. So I don't know what's going to happen. No. It's still being farmed, luckily. But oh, That's good. Yeah. I'll miss that's the good. cider as well. I, I don't know what I'm missing. <laughs> well, if you don't know what you're missing, then you're okay. You're okay. You'll be all right. Is this FOMO? Does this count as, as FOMO? No, you're fine. Okay. You'll be okay. <laughs> well, Mike, it's always a, a blast to see you. And still no happy fun time games, though, when I do them. Oh, shit, yeah. that's true. Well, we don't do them at Fest. I know, but hey, I'm you only, only come at, on at Fest. fest. What the, you got to... Well, you know it what? has been a long time since we've done a Free Will episode. That's true. Um, and I don't think Nate has ever actually been on the podcast. 
I so we may don't have to do that. a free will so. episode, and you will have to make the trek out, and we will play Happy Fun Time games. I'll have to, or, send, I'll have to send you my schedule. <laughs> or <laughs> we'll schedule it around you. You can go to, uh, to. patreon.com slash beerbusters and sign up to become a patron of the podcast and get invited to secret basement recordings. Oh, yeah. But Patrons often get to be on Happy Fun Time games. Yeah. Listeners at home, you can do it, too. Patreon.com <laughs> slash beerbusters. Thanks for that plug, Mike. But I thought I knew people. I don't have to do that sort of thing. <laughs> <laughs> I've, been, I've been away so long, I've if gotten out of the inner circle. If you just knock on the door and bring a bottle of Ralphius, yeah. you know we'll let you in. If you just show oh, up, it's fine. <laughs> I can bring more than Ralphius. I mean, yeah. I still have a pretty decent... When I moved, I looked at my cellar. Like, three quarters of my cellar is free will beer. Of oh, course. Sure. Yeah. Well, <laughs> that's I, that's no surprise. That. I mean, I have some nice other stuff, but I was like, ooh. I, mean, I forgot I had I forgot this. About <laughs> I forgot I had <laughs> this. <laughs> I actually found a four-pack of Lord Business the other day. I was like, wow. oh, no. I, I forgot about that Oops. one. Wow. I cracked oh, one. I was like, no. oh, so sad. Bum, 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 bum. It went. It went malty. Do you uh, do you still have any? Because we need some punishment beers for the podcast. Oh. Uh, there's two cans in a cooler right now. <laughs> we might need one of those. I just, you might want to take one off your hands. I can give you all of them. All okay. Right. All right. We'll let them sit I mean, it's st- it's still not bad, but it's just the hops yeah. have fallen out. It's a little malty. We started making the loser of Happy Fun Time Games endure a punishment in Last Call, and it's usually drinking something gross. I would say you say for it, but she likes it too much. That's the thing. Yeah. That was one of my my options was to get like super. Spicy beers, but Steph likes that. It wouldn't affect Steph. She nope. would try to lose. That's I would true. try to lose. That would be funny to hear as well, though. Because <laughs> she knows stuff. All right, it's time for us to mix your beer with Collusion's beer. So yeah, we're this kicking is you be off, interesting. Mike. All right, I got to go pour beer. Yeah, it's always a pleasure Bye. seeing him. All right, you're the Have fun. You. Thanks Cheers, for having man. me. Peace out. See ya. So Mike told us that we have to mix one of his beers with uh, one of Collusion's beers. So it only makes sense that we have Jared from Collusion joining us now. How are you, Jared? I'm doing pretty well. How about yourself? Doing all right, man. Doing all right. Good to see you again. Yeah, I think this is seventh or eighth time, sixth time I've been on this. It's been a bunch. Yeah. Yeah. But it's been a while, though, since the last time. In fact, it might have been the last Little Big Beer Festival. I think so. Uh, Yes, because I wasn't there, but I remember when I was editing, you were on. Right. Fair. Right. When were we? When did we do the episode at your place? That was a while ago. That must have been like two years ago. That, uh, that probably yeah. was pretty close to right after we opened. It was yeah, right before like a, yeah. your first uh, Ben and Jared's. So I was, remember yeah. you, uh, you were in the thing with the the logo. It was when you still thought you were going to release it with the Ben and Jerry's logo. Right before our lawyers told us, if you value your business, don't <laughs> do this. <laughs> yeah. Now we released it anyways. Just. Unlabeled. The label wasn't on the bottle. We put the bottle in a brown paper bag. We put the label next to it. <laughs> and then we added like a free five ounce pour to it for 20 bucks. So you got everything you would normally get. And you could put the label on yourself. That's awesome. But yeah. we didn't sell you the beer with the label on it. We sold you a brown paper bag <laughs> for $20. That's the smartest thing ever. Some assembly required. That's the biggest fuck you. <laughs> it's, it's the Ikea version of a bottle of beer. <laughs> I mean, oh, it... it Kind of just a little bit resembled the Ben and Jerry's label, one thousand percent. It was well, fucking identical. It was, a, <laughs> it was that was pretty. It was a loving homage. <laughs> I like ice cream, man. How can you not like? How ice cream? can you not like ice cream? I, I feel best. like if Ben and Jerry still owned that company, they wouldn't have cared. No, probably no. But it's in the hands of shareholders yeah. now. So it was March 2017, episode 111. Yeah, it's two years. So yeah, because the bar- me sniffing your barrel came up in my Facebook That's memories right. not that yeah, long ago. Right. Two years ago. Mm-hmm. Subtitled Random Inoculations. Yeah. Yeah. I, I ask because I feel like at the time collusion wasn't such a hot button word as it is today. Well, <laughs> yeah. You know, surprise, I'm going to open one of these if I'm okay to do that. Uh, you probably you don't, don't want to. do that. They're he very... gave them to us because we're going to use them as punishment beers. Oh, because they're old. They're really old. I'm thirsty. I mean, you can. No, no, no. I'm just I really warning you. Thank you for the heads up. I'm, yeah. I'm okay. We do. We whenever we do happy fun time game now. Uh, in fact, I should probably put them on the floor so people don't get tempted. True. Um, yeah, we don't want to punish people. But if you are the loser of happy fun time game, there is a punishment. Speaking of, before I forget, Ron found a can of old non-alcoholic old Milwaukee from. What was the year on that can, Rich? The old Milwaukee, 2009? Buried in his backyard. Oh it was my covered God. in dirt. Ew. And I almost took it, and I'm like, this would be a good punishment what beer, but I don't want it to kill Milwaukee? anyone. That was in Ron's backyard. Didn't the, the, the it said 2009 on the Great American Beer Fest logo on it? 2008, 2008. 2009. 
Something. But I'm like, it could kill someone. Who knows like what has seeped nah, into that can? It'll yeah, be right. fine. Yeah. It's a can. It'll be fine. We'll make yeah, we'll use still it as a punishment the if it's not then you're, Yeah, you're we'll, and we'll go. make them sign a document beforehand. <laughs> it's fine. You cannot sue us. <laughs> I just saw on YouTube the other day, some dude drank like a 40-something-year-old can of beer. That was the last one off of the assembly line that his father worked at. Of I some saw that Yeah, but he probably yeah. stored year old it or safely. Something. It was just stored in dude's house. I mean, it wasn't yeah. like yeah, not I'm, buried I'm, in someone's backyard. And he said it was. Uh, oh, oh no, I'm I'm totally confused. That was the Captain Morgan's. Was it? Did anybody say it was a Captain Morgan's can that still had caffeine in it? Oh, of I, Captain Morgan's rum and coke wow. mixed together. I thought it was a beer too. Then I totally and that oh. was like a long time ago. But well, maybe I'm talking about there, two different things. There, there, there might have been about. one with a beer. There, I thought there was one with a beer, but I did see the Captain Morgan. Well, they one. they 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 got those uh, those beers off of the the ships from like the 18th century. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. like like sampled them and like figured out did like you what just was dump in my them? beer. No, no these are your beers. <laughs> <laughs> we don't ever dump beers on this show. Ever. Oh, okay, good. No. We no, drink that everything. Was, that was the water glass that you dumped, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, Speaking of, come on. Let's, very dark let's water. Drink. Right. What should we drink first? Uh, I would start with the cinnamon toast brunch, then to the peanut butter, then so to the, the right blend right. of both, then to the double barrel. It smells like a churro. We got a, we got a lot to get through. It smells like so a churro. I like this that. beer was actually influenced by the churro beer. Yeah. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. My God. Is it good? Good. It tastes like a freaking churro. <laughs> oh my god, this is amazing. Oh my. Oh god, wow, it's yeah, so it smells good. like a churro. It's so good. Oh wow, it smells really good. I'd also or like, like fry, to know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Fry, yeah. So yeah, when nice um when I first had cartons, cafe de churro. This is better. <laughs> No, I'm serious. Well, thank you. I think I that, that that is theirs is good, but it's too boozy. It's it's a very hot beer, I think. Right. Where this is not at all. Oh, well, thank you. I, no, when I first had Carton's uh, Cafe de Churro for the first time three years ago, I mean, I, I was I was just blown away because I'm not a huge coffee beer fan. Mm-hmm. At least I wasn't. I'm starting to get there to that point just because I don't really drink coffee that much. Um but once I had that beer, I said, you know, that really reminds me of like, hey, I love churros, I love that beer, but it really reminds me of like cinnamon toast brunch, which is my favorite cereal. Yeah. So we ended up going and playing around with that bit, and I think that's like the fourth iteration, fourth or fifth iteration of that beer. Uh, now, this one actually does not have coffee in it where all the previous versions did. It doesn't need coffee. No, I However, think, yeah, yeah. this was more the embodiment of the cereal as opposed to like cinnamon toast crunch. Yeah. Was this cinnamon toast brunch was the original name, but we just kind of tweaked the recipe and still kept the same name because people already knew the name. I right. just removed the coffee, and that's kind of the. That's, I think that's what we're going to stick with from now on for that beer. I would kind of be interested in trying it with coffee. I, I think it would. Be I good. love it the way yeah. it is, but I, I'm. Curious. It was really good with coffee, um, but it 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 was a little much going on. I kind of feel like yeah. it would it would compete. Like this is just. Yeah, and it's then so that, good. that blended with the peanut itself. butter. Yeah. the next one is pretty. And remember, pretty we well. got to save some of this oh, yeah. to blend oh, with that's the a, oh, free will. Oh, good, I, I can get it. you more. That's over that. Okay. Um, Literally, everyone at the table has. Oh my god. Has said. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I can, we can get, get you more. more. I can get you more. I can get you more. Oh, this is good. So the so next one we did was mm. uh, we do a beer every year. In fact, maybe twice a year, just depending on if people start really hounding me for it. Called all fudged up. Uh, 10% Imperial uh, milk stout with chocolate. And this was one that we did. We did a big Pennsylvania stout showcase uh, back in, I believe, February 23rd, uh, where we invited basically 20 different breweries from the state of Pennsylvania. 18 ended up showing up. And we basically bought one keg from every one of the breweries. Um, Paid full price, by the way, if anybody's listening that runs beer festivals pay for your beer because <laughs> we even do as brewers yeah pay full price for all their beers on wholesale brought them into the brewery and then sold um all 18 of their beers side by side with six of ours for all 24 of our draft lines for a big pa stout invitational um, so we did this peanut butter version of our all fudged up which is just chocolate with peanut butter uh, that we just did in a little little 15 gallon keggy uh with, with literally straight peanut butter a keggy well, that's what we call them, keggies. Is, is that actual, an official term? No, that's that's my <laughs> official term. We call them keggies. But you, so actual, like real peanut butter? Mm-hmm. Really? Whole real peanut wow, butter. Wow, that's rare. 
did it pour like it didn't like flatten the beer? Like, I mean, you're drinking it. You yeah, tell me. I mean, it's, it's, <laughs> no, it doesn't seem like it. I mean, no, yeah. it's it's. Uh, I was surprised how the oil didn't you know completely yeah. just destroy the head. And yeah, now um, we should mix this. With I mean, it's been sitting that. for like ten minutes, so it might not be. Wait, no, that. Oh, right. We already had the mixture, right? No, we didn't. No, oh, I, I thought think, you brought no, 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 no. Up. Oh, okay. No, pay attention. A mixture. This is a complicated tasting segment. <laughs> well, because we also need to mix the, the. I know we have a lot of mixtures to do. Is that oh, what we're mixing with wow. that? No, I mixed it with the. Yeah, he said she mix mixed it with the collusion beer. We should uh, see if Rich can get us more. Uh, and then, as we always do for the third and fourth beer that we brought, I only brought one over one of the two over because there was only three glasses brought to me. Uh, but this is actually one of our bottles of our Colluders Club membership from the very first year that we did it where we released four bottles, Earth, Air, Fire, Water, of the elements for the Colluders Club membership, which was exclusive just to them. However, we still bring it out to festivals. You know, every festival that we do, every event that we do, we'll always bring one or two bottles of just some, you know, stashed away kind of shit, you know, or the crowler of something or some bottles from our secret stash down in the, down in the cellars of collusion. So we brought, this is a rum and bourbon barrel-aged uh, 12% imperial stout from, I believe, December of... 2017? No, November 2017, around there. Late 2017. Late 2017. Third to fourth quarter 2017. <laughs> but, uh, Who keeps wooing? Rick I think the, pil- the Pilgaroo guys. I think Tyler just went in the bathroom with Woo. his belt on. He definitely did. Damn. Um... Uh, but yeah, I mean, I, I love this festival. Like, this is this is one it's of my so favorites. Great. Yeah. What do you think the Ooh. ratio should be? Ooh, that I is. I feel like we need a boozy. lot of this and just a little of I was this. I'd say just straight half and half, but no, I don't think half and half. So I'm gonna say I like the combination with the free will beer, but I think I like it better with the peanut butter. Uh, yeah, I, uh, the peanut butter play. I mean, it just adds to the cereal characteristic. Yeah. Of yeah. It. yeah. The yeah. combo. Yeah. The 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 double collusion combo. Um, Collusion squared. Yeah, Collusion it, t- squared. it turned it into almost like a like a candy bar, like a uh, uh, what's that? Uh, like a, almost like a Mr. Butterfinger. Mm-hmm. A little bit. Yeah, yeah, it yeah, reminded yeah. me of. Yeah, it was pretty nice. Yeah. What is a Mr. Butterfinger? Or is it just Butterfinger? It's just Butterfinger. It's just butterfinger, butterfinger. But I know what did I get? Mr. Mr. Peanut, uh, maybe. <laughs> Mr. Butterfinger. <laughs> I don't Excuse know. me, Mr. Butterfinger. <laughs> uh, I was thinking Mr. Belvedere. Mr. What? Isn't it just Belvedere though, or is it? Mi- <laughs> no, that's actually Mister. Yeah, I was gonna say I thought that was Mister. <laughs> that one is a Mister. All right, Mister, yeah. Mister. It's just Mister. Mister, Mister. Oh my gosh, Jesus. we're at that point already. It's I think, too I early. think we are. I think no, we are. Yeah, Four fifteen. Getting late. God, what time does the event go till? Is it five? Five. Five o'clock. Yeah. We Damn, we still have minutes. a lot of interviews to do. Yeah. Who do you got left? We got you on. So we're that's doing true. Boneshire next. Who are we getting on from Boneshire? Are we getting blue? I don't know. Da I don't even know. Who, I actually die. don't know who's here from Boneshire. Uh, Jason, but his nickname okay. is Blue. Um, and I, I think he's here solo. No, he's I not saw here two solo. Boneshire but guys. The other guy doesn't want to come on. Oh, then that means we're we're talking to Blue. Yep. yep there to you be go. fair, Blue kind of looks like you. Just a bit. I really got to pee, by the way. Just yeah. a bit. I yeah. there out of glance. Yeah. I'd like to hope that he's fatter than me, but <laughs> <at> just the, <laughs> a bit. He still has his baby weight just on. Just a bit. Yeah. His kid's like two years old. No, nah, he's awesome, dude. No, nah, he's cool. I, we were just bullshitting with him. I was pouring for a heme hour for a little bit while he was on here. Yeah, in uh, in my we days of hanging fun. around his former brewery, he I got to know him pretty well. Yeah, he's good, dude. He's a real good, dude. Yeah. So what's new in Collusion? What's coming up in the future? So I believe as of this week, we are going to be signing our contract for a new location in Lidditz. Hey, that's cool. Um, after basically a year and a half worth of planning and figuring out, you know, different options for us and how to make it logistically work out um we should be signing a uh, signing a contract here in the, this week or the next week before the end of the month very cool uh for a letter of intent for a, a new building in Lidditz. are you allowed to say where in Lidditz? it is literally next to the bull's head okay oh, there you go like cool. it's the building right behind bull's head that's awesome uh it's you know once again in the alleyway just like collusion is down in york uh, place of the whole, you know, collusion, secret society, back entrance, secret deal, you know, kind of kind of theme. Um, it'll be about 50 seats, 50 to 55 seats. We will have a kitchen, but it's not going to be like the new... Ki- oh, we, well, there's another update. We built a new kitchen at our place down in York. Awesome. So we have legitimate, like, actual food other than just pressed sandwiches and salads and shit. <laughs> uh, 
but it'll be a, a minimalistic style kitchen like the original idea was for the inclusion in York, uh, just because the building design doesn't allow for layouts for events and you know a hood and everything right. else in yeah. the yep. city the borough is is kind of you know iffy about that stuff in a building that's as old as this one um but i mean if everything goes right we'll have uh we'll be full service liquor there liquor beer wine and will that just all be Pennsylvania like spirits um a tap room or are we going to have like a little system there no it's just going to be a tap just room a it'll okay. be like a satellite, yeah. satellite satellite tap room uh, you know, we get a lot of people asking about coming to Lancaster. Let's come to Lancaster County, and uh, you know, Lancaster City is getting a little crowded at this point. Yeah. Um, so we're we're looking at you know if if, if this whole Lidditz thing works out, which it should. Uh, hopefully, you'll see us there next year. That would be awesome. You got to keep us posted on that. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Lidditz. Uh, it's somewhere on here. Damn it! Oh. I mean, I'm, I'm getting too lazy with this soundboard. These there's days. too many sound effects on the board. There really are, sound and clips. there's more I have to add. Oh boy! Yeah, well, Jared, it's, it's always it's always a pleasure talking to you and seeing you. Yes. Oh, without a doubt. And uh, if at any point you you uh, oh, man. oh what was that? I was trying to. <laughs> I just I like held his phone. Someone said soundboard. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Wait, we got that too. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Was that Eli? <laughs> no, that was Garrett. Garrett. Because that was the first one I saw. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that was Garrett, really? Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. Nice. Uh, I don't know where Eli's is. Oh, it looks like they're packing somewhere. up. Yeah. Mm. They already they, filmed they our got, beautiful yeah. faces. That's all they oh, needed. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I'm so important. <laughs> they're annoying. <laughs> <laughs> they're not, they're not <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, Jared, thank you so much for coming no back problem. up here, man. It's always a pleasure. No problem. And uh, yes, when, when you open the new place, let us know. Absolutely. Yeah, it's been a while. Absolutely. We need to come out well, and smell yeah. more barrels. I mean, it's not like you're that fucking far. Well, <laughs> well I'm Jesus not that Christ. fucking far. They're a little more yeah, fucking we're, far. Yeah, we're, we're down in Philly. That's kind of that's kind of far. Well, huh? when when we get Lidditz going, it's, you <laughs> well, know. Well, that's still closer. I, mean, I, got, I have a friend yeah. that lives close to Lidditz, so, I mean. Oh, he'll come for his friend. There you go. I'm just saying, like, I can go visit can my friend sleep and sleep in the go. basement. I will <laughs> throw a cot up for you, and you can just stay there or blow up mattress or whatever. We got you, buddy. Blow I'm cool with that. You can blow up mattresses. I'm cool with that. I'm sleep cool with in that. my car. I don't care. Uh, that Whatever. part I might not be so cool with. I don't know. Yeah. What, kind of, what kind of car? I was just going to say the same thing. Ford Edge, baby. I'll put the seats down. You got. I mean, you can stretch out. I can't even think of what a Ford Edge looks like. You've baby, got, you got to You've stew. got about six and a half feet that you can lay down and spread yourself out. All right. I can do six and a half feet while spread. Spread yourself spread. out. <laughs> <laughs> that part of Queen it's, already. Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's getting later. Oh, my God. Getting oh a little boy. dirty. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, always dirty, dirty. Dirty. it's always dirty. All right, I'll let you guys get to the next person <laughs> since Bye. we're running out of time. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, thank you for coming back up here, man. Of course. Always a pleasure. Yeah. Yes. We'll see you. see you. Yeah. Cheers, man. You know what's funny? What's well, funny. funny? We recorded at Boneshire, and we recorded with like 700 people yeah, there. Yeah, I know. And I was did. trying to... But we've never had Jason on the show well, from Boneshire. No. That I is true. I wasn't special enough. <laughs> no, apparently not. Well, I don't know if you were there at the time. I might not have been. I don't think so. You might not have been. That was a while ago. But yeah. I started there in 2017. So. When did we record there? Oh, man. Another I fact I don't check. remember. Another that fact also check. just came up in my memories not long yeah, ago. I'm going to say it was two years here. ago. Same here. So, um, yeah, well, here's the thing. If it was Beer Week two years ago, I wasn't there yet. Okay. That's probably around when it was. It but was we, pre-Beer Week. Yeah. But we do have Can Jason I point out? out? Oh, God. You're Sorry. pointing We out. have Jason from Boneshire. Yeah, me. I just, uh, went to, I just went to search Boneshire on our website, and I typed Boneshite. <laughs> that's not, no, that's not, that's not a nice thing to type. Sorry. <laughs> The beer is not shite. Don't no, listen to this. No, beer is most very certainly, good. It's most very certainly good. not. Uh, so you have been at Boneshire for two years, two and a half years. Two and a half years. Yeah. You were telling me earlier that you now do on Monday nights like a D and D gathering. That's absolutely correct. Which is incredible, and I uh, I love that idea. I think it's amazing. Yeah, we uh, we were just looking for something to do on Mondays to bring people to the bar, and you know, there's there's lots of nerds that drink beer. And you can't do those things at the same time a lot of places. So I figured, Aww, drop my notebook damn. in favor of a sandwich. <laughs> yeah, we, we figured we'd try and put it together. And one of our actual, uh, our, our regulars, a mug club member of ours, was a, uh, a Twitch like streaming dungeon master. And he was like, well, I think I could make it work. So we're just like, yeah, why not? Let's try it. That's cool. Nice. So far, so good, man. So far, so good. We have our, our next event for that will be this coming Monday, uh, May 6th. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. You mean Revenge of the 6th? Revenge of the Sixth, in, in deep. Wow. or in podcast time, week and a half ago. Yeah. Yes, yeah. So let's drink beer. What did you bring us? 
I didn't bring you beer. Nobody told me to bring you beer. Oh, well, what we did have Rich right bring here. for us? Oh, then? Rich already brought you beer. So you have, which is on top of that, a rye whiskey barrel aged version of our coffee imperial stout, which is called Dark of the Forest. And you have some Mexican Lazarus, which is our Russian imperial stout with cocoa, coffee, cinnamon, and habanero peppers. Now, that I is remember that one. Dark of the Forest. I remember Lazarus uh, was a, uh, a series uh, that like kind of yeah sort Lazarus, of like playing around with different things different versions. Lazarus has a very storied past. Um, initially, the first brew of Lazarus itself had all of the ingredients that are in this, and then we actually dropped all of those and called it Lazarus Unrobed, and we yeah. decided that that was too much work, and then we decided <laughs> to call Lazarus the base Russian Imperial Stout. And then name the variations thereof. Right, right, right. Mm. This is the Mexican Lazarus. So this is the Lazarus. Oh, so since we were, since that's we were, dark of the forest. Since we were talking about that, we should probably drink that one first. Ooh, ooh, that's got a nice. Ooh. Did the we hop, have the nice kick? Shows up late, but it's there. It's there. It, it kind of sneaks up right at the tail end of the sip. Yeah. Uh, I'm actually looking at the post from uh, when we did the episode. There, we had. Ooh, oh, there it is. Alan Miller, Alex Govelich. Govelovich, yeah. Govelovich, Carson Book, yep. uh, Ken Graham Lynch, yep. Tim Klinger, yep. Andy Enders, yep. and Carl Larson. They're all so much and more weapons. important than me. <laughs> those, but you weren't there, so those, now you're the, here the, now. Those are all owners and an assistant brewer. And yeah, that's I, I, I just run the front of the house. I, I do all of the, the, the putting the beer in the glass. That's a very yes, important job. Yes, but that is a super, super important job. <laughs> Some people would call it because bartending. Because the connection you make with would. the person that's buying the beer is yeah. vital. That's right. Because if you say the wrong thing to them, they'll be like, I'm never coming here again. But you have a very friendly face, so I feel like you're good at it. Uh, sometimes. But not all of the time. <laughs> well, as a bartender, also, you have to be able to be like, yo, you're drunk. Shut up. Stop. Yeah. So yeah. you have to have that other side but as if well. But if you have to say that to them, they probably won't remember the conversation. That's right. true. We yeah. had a barrel-aged Lazarus with cinnamon. That's we what there. it was. Oh, it yeah. was not this one. Yeah. We have yeah, had didn't, this, Didn't have though. the peppers. We have had this. Yeah. This is the third time Beer Busters has checked this in. And mm-hmm. I approve of that because it's ama- amazing. It's a pretty goddamn good beer, if I'm allowed to say goddamn on your podcast. You, you are. can say whatever the fuck That's you good, want. That's good, because I said it twice. <laughs> <laughs> so what other kind of stuff is in store in the near future at Bone Shark? Uh, we've got all sorts of stuff in the works all the time. We do trivia every Wednesday. We do live music every Thursday with a rotating group of acts. Um, we're working on a series of events for Tuesdays. We're going to have a, a paint and a pint night every month. We're gonna oh, that's a, cool. We're going to start an open mic night on uh, one Tuesday a month. Um, Beer-wise, the coolest thing we have coming up is kind of a a, uh, a project we were hoping to get done for Beer Week but didn't work out. We're going to brew a beer together as a staff at the brewery. Oh, that's so cool. Um, so I won't, I won't tell you too much about what it'll be. It's still a secret. It's a, it's a secret secret. But it'll be ridiculous and probably delicious. I hope so. Delicious. Ridiculous and definitely delicious. Yeah, that's probably right. That's a really cool <laughs> idea. That's the, a really the, cool the idea. secret is it's a blueberry muffin blonde stout. <laughs> oh, all right. well, <laughs> just going right for it. <laughs> that sounds secret. amazing. That does sound really good. That sounds, that sounds amazing. Really awesome. What is the other beer? It was the Mexican uh, Lazarus and this is a black blue forest black black forest, forest. dark, dark of the forest dark, dark of the forest. forest aged in Dad's Hat rye whiskey. Oh, there nice. you go. That one's really good. I am such oh, I am shit. such a, a, a like spicy pussy sometimes. Right. That like this like I enjoyed it, but now it's like I can't do it anymore. Yeah, that beer's that that beer's a little out of some people's spice range yeah. for sure. I is mean, it, it's not super is, crazy. Hold but on, I'm looking at the picture from the Bone Share episode. Is this one of those where you had to edit so they all fit in the box? Uh, I may have cut and pasted them. So, oh yeah, definitely. You can tell this guy on the right side there was definitely cut out. Yeah, this is. Uh, I just squeezed them all into a tiny little box. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was a fun episode. We need to get back to Bone Char. That Definitely, was um, sure. February 2017. Nice. Yeah. We could do that again. There. Yeah. Uh, and we yeah. have you on for the full episode. Yeah. Well, in fact, I vote that we just have him on <laughs> instead of a, a million other people. Well, yeah. The, the logistics of having yeah. everyone else on. It was fun, but... Uh, yeah. yeah, it was fun. We did like... A, like We broke it into like segments. Well, yeah, it's probably a lot like today where you're having fun, but it's kind of a pain in the ass. Kind of like <laughs> all these different people. Um, it's a pain in the ass for Dan, not for us. Yeah, nice. Yeah, thanks. Because he thing, has to edit it. One thing I did want to ask um, is we introduced you as Jason, but yeah. apparently your nickname is Blue. Yep, that's correct. Is there a story behind oh, that? Oh, Jesus. I have to tell that on a podcast? You don't yeah, have to. Tell that story you don't have fair, to if you don't want to. I was just curious. To be there's fair, I don't know that I know that story. There's absolutely no beer relation to this story. And it's okay, going to take fine. at least three minutes. Are that's we all fine. right with that? That's all right, fine. here we go. 
when I was in high school, my mom insisted on me wearing a winter jacket, and I thought that that was a stupid idea because um, I, you know, I have a, a built-in natural layer of insulation. <laughs> And so every year she would take me shopping for a winter jacket sometime, you know, late October or November. And what we would do is go to a store and she'd tell me to pick out a coat. And intentionally I'd pick out the most expensive and ridiculous looking coat that I could find. And she'd say, yeah, we're not going to get that coat. And then I wouldn't have a winter coat that year. So freshman year of high school, she takes me and uh, we go to Dick's Sporting Goods and I, I've got my game plan. I have to find an expensive coat that looks stupid and she won't buy it. <laughs> And I found a $275 hoodie reversible neon blue, two sizes, too big Adidas winter <laughs> coat. And I said, all right, Mom, this is the only jacket I like. And she said, great. Oh, no. And she grabbed it and walked it up to the register, and she handed it to me. And one of the, like, five times in my life that my mother ever swore at me, she said, you're going to fucking wear this every day. <laughs> I was like, okay. Literally the next day. I was, in the, I was in the high school marching band. I was in the drum line. Uh, and the stadium at our high school had a big hill that you had to come down to enter. And I was 10 minutes late to our dress rehearsal for the biggest competition of the year. And so I'm sprinting down the hill to get to my drum. And one of my best friends at the time was our, our section leader. And he looks at our instructor and says, there's either a giant blueberry rolling down that hill or Millar's here. And the very next day, I was blue, and it never went away. Well, I'm, I'll be I'll be 36 this year, so that's 22 years of that's amazing. being called blue. Yeah. That is awesome. That might technically now be longer than only having the name Jason. I think it is. Yeah. Well, yeah, I've had both names longer than I had just the original one. And your wow. mom is awesome. Yes. <laughs> you got to wear it every fucking day. That's right. I'm so glad I learned this story. Uh, yeah, that was good. That was good. I uh, love it. Well, I think that's a great place to uh, yeah, where, yeah, where do we to, go from there? segment. Uh, thank cool. you so much for coming up to the microphones. Thank you for providing some awesome beer. We Absolutely. look forward to uh, getting back to Boneshire. All right. Thanks yeah. for having me. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers, man. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like this is the first time that we have had two sets of brothers at the table. Um, sure. Okay, sure. We're going to go with this that. Is, this is episode 167. I don't fucking remember. I feel like we would but remember it's something like that. True. Anyway, at least cursing is encouraged on this. Yes, <laughs> encouraged yeah. is the right word. Uh, so we have joining us from Pilger Rue. Did I say it right? Yes, All right, correct. I you just told me like two minutes ago. But Conlon and Tyler, gentlemen, how are you? Um, not, not so, so bad. bad. How are you? Doing all right, man. <laughs> how's uh, how's the fest been treating you so far? Great, pretty good. Yeah, good, good. Can't complain. Very good, very good. They so, really want to win. Yeah, yeah, that's our goal. Our whole that's goal in goal. life is to win. Well, that should I be mean, they carry goal. a freaking <laughs> like wrestling belt with them. If oh, you, that's where that everywhere we go. Yep. If you ain't first, you're last. Okay, that's Ricky fair. Bobby. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like love it. the seriousness on your face. <laughs> yeah. Time. Rich so, and I took a picture with the belt. Yes, you did. Yeah. I had to take that picture. Yeah. Well, uh, Dan wouldn't get in the picture with I d- me. Why? I was supposed to lay on the floor like she was. Perfect. Like, <laughs> but I have a bad back, and I would not have been able to stand back up. Uh, That's the problem. Okay. Uh, the the best there. picture of the belt this week, because the belt has been everywhere in Harrisburg Beer Week, is with uh, the guy from Harris Family Brewing. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That, that was, was pretty. That was everywhere. That was pretty amazing. Yep. Yeah. He looks like he's just meant to have that belt in his hand. <laughs> I was hoping to see those guys here today, too. They're, no, a good not time yet. With them. I mean, if he wants, he can have it. and He'll have to wait till next year, though. Yeah. But well, I'm, I have a feeling could he'll be, be his. here next year. <laughs> he's doing a podcast. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's just, not no, a whole room. It's pod, like trying to play pool selfie. in a small room. I'm not even going to be in it. Though. It doesn't work. No, it <laughs> doesn't work. Delete. All right. Well, that could work. No. <laughs> <laughs> I was yeah. gonna say when you get up, you could just do it from the end of the table. Yeah, there you go. True, um, true. That's how. But anyway, uh, so I, so I don't think we've ever had Pilgaru represented on the podcast. Uh, nope. Either. So Appreciate why don't it. you uh, uh, introduce our listeners a little bit to like where you guys are, how long you've been around, what Pilgaru is all about? All right. So uh, we're currently located in Pottsville, Pennsylvania. We have a building. Uh, we don't. We're not gonna open probably for another year or so. We've no, been on the whole. Goes. We've been on the whole beer uh, fest scene the last like year and a half. Uh, we've been. I, I mean, I've been brewing since like 2012. So we came together with my, a few friends and we started doing stuff, and here we are. I mean, uh, I've been running a beer fest in, in the Skook for the last five years. It's our five year anniversary now. We're, we just moved the fest to Pottsville, Pennsylvania. We're downtown Pottsville. Oh, cool. So 
Yeah, our listeners will know we've plugged uh, the Schuylkill County, yeah. Schuylkill County Beer Fest now. How many years is it? Five years? Yes, yeah, year number Big five. five. Yep. We've been promoting it for Cheers the, the five last years. five years, so that's yeah, how that's cool. you'll recognize these mm-hmm. guys. It's a, a fun ta- place. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Um, that's really cool that you're in downtown Possible. Yeah, uh, I mean, w- we didn't move it because of, like, other reasons. Uh, the elk tried to sue us last You know, <laughs> it rains every year for our festival. It yeah. does, it does. So uh, <laughs> the field got a little bit muddy. And then our venues is like, well, they're like, we want extra money off you now. And they threaten a lawsuit on us for tearing up the field. So we kind of bounce. <laughs> they didn't think that we were going to. We're like, oh, well, we do we do have another place lined up. And they're like, well, we want this, this, that, and that. And we're like, all right, see ya. And then they didn't think we were going to leave. And we left. So, I mean, we do what we do what we had to do. We expected to expand. Yeah. So it should help us now that we're like south in the mountain in yeah, Pottsville. Yeah, yeah. I mean, well, it was like the. Like even the fact that like you had the luxury to be like, all right, well this isn't working. We have somewhere else we can exactly. go. Exactly. Like means that you've become popular enough mm-hmm. that you can be like, we'll go somewhere else. People are still going to come. Exactly. Like, yeah. We we had two places offer their like land to us. We're actually in option number three right now. Cool. Uh, the second place was double booked. So when we didn't move it, we didn't move it. But we found out after a week that we moved it that it was double booked. So we're like, all right, Plan C. <laughs> so we, we we did get downtown Pottsville. So we are good to go. Nice. Awesome. Awesome. And when is it uh, coming up? This uh, year? May 18th. Yeah. So we're two weeks from right now. It'll so be like, the day after this episode. So releases. if you're listening to this episode, the day it comes out, it's tomorrow. Well, it's probably <laughs> yeah. sold out, isn't it? No, we're not sold out. We never really sell out. Yeah. Uh, you can always squeeze a couple more bodies. Yeah, mm. absolutely. <laughs> so we bought about like a thousand pieces of glass. So we yeah. should be good. It's always well attended. Yeah, we're, we're roughly around right now, like 500 plus. So we'll see what happens in the next two weeks. A lot of people are last minute, too. It's Expression. like they wait for the weather. Well, especially, yeah. Yeah. especially with our festival, everyone waits for the rain because they just expect it to happen. <laughs> yeah. and it, the big change is the fact that we're on a street this year and yeah. not in a grassy no field. No more so mud. So you don't have to worry about that stuff. Yeah. You know, if people leaving behind shoes, people leaving behind whatever. You know what I mean? They're covered in mud. They just say, you know, fuck it and leave yeah, all their yeah. shit behind. Yeah, I watched this girl last year walk in with brand new white Converse's <laughs> on. Oh, no. Like, yo, you fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> the thing, you, you might as well just that? leave them there after you're yeah. done because you're not ever wearing those again. <laughs> no, you always wear boots, like, yeah, like dark yeah. boots. What were you yeah. thinking? Like, I'm going to look cute tonight. <laughs> and no, you, you fucked now up. Now you have brown colors. Yeah, yeah. You're done. <laughs> Even the thing with that, like, you know, as Outcast once said, you can plan a pretty picnic, but you can't predict the weather. Yeah. So, you know, you take that on, and, um, you know, people go up until even the day of. You don't know how, like, it's going to turn out, mm-hmm. even yeah. though the forecast says, you know, 85 degrees and sunny, and you go to bed that night and wake up, and then it says showers the entire day. The thing with being on the street now, it completely eliminates the factor of having to worry about, you know, ruining any attire you're going to be wearing for that. <laughs> so, <laughs> Rain or shine, wear yeah. your white converse. It's yeah. So yeah. At, at least, in the, you know, when you're walking around the streets of Possible now, you don't have to really worry about, you know, getting in no mud fest or whatever. And it flows downhill. So yeah. you're, you're good. Like Everything last drains year, off. there was legit mud, like, you can't see me maybe, but like four inches thick, five inches thick. Of just straight up mud. Yeah. Like there are certain places where you should not walk. I had yeah. A, uh, yeah like it was well, it was bad. We had original entrance and the normal you know every side that we did for the you know every year and then the last year it w- we had the point where we had like the tent solidified everything we had like barriers with like you know canopies and whatnot and then the wind just came ripped up like four tents and <laughs> took it out. And took them down the street. Yeah. And we're like, Thank God no one was there. Oh. But like it was hilarious. And we looked around like really this is it? Like this is like we throw in a towel after this shit? Yeah, like, <laughs> like, yeah we're not there's no way we're canceling this but I mean Eh. No, but like it was, it, was bad. it was like the one of those self defeating moments where like really yeah. like, we, like we're, we're we're set we're like all right so it's flooded over here but we could still have people come in through here and then it kept generating more rain on top of that and then all the freaking canopies toppled over and we're just like you know what fuck this shit you know <laughs> yeah. but we're still gonna do it we're still gonna go with it you know what I mean but it was just like you know absorbing it was just like yeah this really like it was a kick in the dick basically. For, <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. Yeah, it was I bad. Future beer name. Yeah. Kick, kick in, in the dick. dick. <laughs> kick in the Speaking dick. Speaking of beers. Speaking yes. of beer, you guys have a beer. What did you bring us? Yeah, this fluffy fingers. You guys got some fluffy fingers? You have it? Yeah. He yeah. Came okay. came yeah, over. Rich, right. yeah, Rich went and got it. All right, it. sweet. Fluffy fingers. All right, so what is fluffy fingers? I fluffy fingers out. is an imperial wow. stat with marshmallow fluff, almonds, and chocolate. <laughs> Marshmallow uh, fluff. A shit ton of lactose and oat milk or is in that. Oh. Wow. And yeah, if literal. you're a fan oh, of the... Oh, wow. You have a picture of it. Oh, yeah. man. If you're a fan <laughs> of the office, you would know where it comes from. That's how people in the hood sell their uh, differences. Yeah. They t- 
tickle each other, and the next thing you know, <laughs> everyone's laughing. They forget what they're fighting about. So I totally taste like a like a campfire, like a, like a marshmallow mm-hmm. roasted over a fire. Like you get that like burnt marshmallow. Ooh, yep. yeah, you know holy I mean? cow! Yeah, it's like totally there. That is delicious. Yeah, it's huh. a ton of marshmallow mm. fluff at the very end of the boil, and it, it's a mess. I hate it. Yeah, I'm sure. But I mean, it, it, it's fun, kind of. I guess you can say it's that. Kind of fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind. I hope so. You're opening a brewery. You know? I know. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, I mean, that portion. I mean, um, just the fluff. Trying to get out of the container is the hardest part, and watch it get dissolved. So, yeah. whatever. Like a hot knife to butter. You know, you stick it in there, fresh with the wart, it kind of like disintegrates a lot better. But, like, usually when you're just like going with that with a spoon, it's just like. Yeah, that's why I've always yeah. stayed away from it. Yeah. Since it's, it's, you never get it all off the spoon, and God help you if you get it on your clothes. Yep. yep. And if God. not, just you eat it. Yeah, you're so. done. <laughs> yep. 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 <laughs> so, what's the plan when you guys open uh, a tap room? Yep. What's, what's the vibe? We're going to open the tap room. Uh, like I said, we had a building. Uh, we have a building. We're opening like a three and a half barrel tap room. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, projected like end of next year, probably. We're getting a brand new roof put on as we speak. So as of right now, it just takes some time and some cash, and we'll get things rolling. I mean, time and cash. Yep. Yeah. 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 Tell Sounds me a right. brewery you haven't met that was yep. that was their one of their <laughs> yeah. propositions. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> So or a brewery that says too. we're opening this day and yep. yeah, and it actually happens. No. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not calling that yet. Yeah. So originally it was like yeah, probably like halfway through 2020 now, like sometime in 2020. Yeah. <laughs> Eventually, please 2020. Yeah, and then I'm like yeah. maybe 2023. <laughs> <happen. Yeah>, right. <laughs> that's that's what happens. Well, until then, you have Google Beer Fest. Exactly. Um, yeah. So yeah, yeah, that's been the, my, the my scoop. baby. The you know, Skook. The Skookle County Brewfest Skook. Skook. And we, we do run the Skook series where we do travel around. We collab with multiple breweries. Everyone brews a beer just for that festival. Right. And everyone votes on it. So, And that, that that's what the belt's for. So, Rotunda won last year, so we'll see who wins this year. Who have you brewed with for this uh, fest? Fitz Creek. Um, Bird's Nest is tomorrow. We did Rotunda. We did... Um, three Wolf. Phase. Wolf, Three Phase. Um... Snits. Do we say yeah, snits? We yeah, snits, we yeah. snits. Uh, tattered flag. Tattered, tattered flag. flag. Okay. I mean, there's nine, eight or nine of them. Uh, three. We said three phases. Yeah. Okay. Jonas. It was Jonas Town. Jonas Town's one of them as well. Yeah. Say tattered flag. Wait, did you say Rotunda? Yes. yes. But you said Snits Creek, right? Yeah. 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 Speaking <laughs> of Snits Creek, I'm gonna do a little plug for them too. I am the assistant brewer there, so I am oh, learning. Really? Ha- yeah, oh, I am learning hands on from uh, Ryan Moncar's monkey. Cool. Cool. You know, he's he's very creative brewer, and you know, I'm learning underneath his wings right now. You know, try to get myself ready for. You know, when we have an opportunity <laughs> to <laughs> open up. <laughs> Drunk people in the house. Woo! Yep. Damn. Woo! <laughs> That's cool, though. We did a, a, a podcast episode, Snitz, Snitz Creek, way early yeah, on. Yeah, that was yeah. one of our first so on location. Good so Chico Dale. Oh, yeah, that was then. That, yeah. was then. that was that night. They named it that night. They did. So they did. A really Chico cool Dale. spot. I haven't been back there in a long time. but uh, I was there cool. last year at it, some point. It, of a, it is Lebanon, you know. Yeah. But, uh, mm-hmm. I yeah. mean, we, we are generating some good beers, you know. Oh, of course. We, we all, you know, me and him construct recipes. And we all, you know, think what's going to be hot at the moment. You know, we go from there. We knew, we just actually, I don't know if I should plug it, but we did. Yeah, we're all, we are under new ownership. Oh, uh, awesome. Funk, Funk's Restaurant and all those guys just bought, you know, Sits Creek are going to be the new owners. I did not know that. So that that is confirmed. That's in the news. So I can't be saying I'm spoiling anything for anybody. <laughs> yeah, even so, you've got two weeks for this. It's day. already been yeah. out. <laughs> so, um, cool, cool. Yeah, so. Oh, they're getting well, ready to announce, guys. Yeah. You better oh, get out right, there yeah. with the belt. Right. Thank you for coming up, guys. Best of luck. Yeah, so we hope Thanks you win something. Thank no, you. you got a quick sign table cloth, too. Well, there you have it. Another Little Big Beer Fest is in the books. Like, literally, it is in my notebook here. I wrote it down. It happened. Thanks to everybody who was on the show. Thank you out there for listening. I am nowhere near as drunk as I thought I would be, and I'm very actually happy about that. And neither of you are paying attention. Cool. So I'm just going to keep going. <laughs> I'm eating wings. <laughs> you are eating wings. That is important. They're pretty good. They are. They are. They actually really I'm are. I'm trying to remember which beers we got for last call, and I can't remember. Yeah, we, we grabbed a couple of quick beers for last call. So patrons, uh, stay tuned for that. We have the Can illustrious. Can I see the pictures you took of them? The man, the myth, the legend, Kevin Keller with us. Hey, guys. Hi. See, I wasn't sure if we were going to bring you in for the outro. No, or we got a tease. Call, we got a right, tease. Right. Last call. So. All right, cool. Oh, I'm all right with that. Sorry. Oh God, they're selfieing. Oh no, no, I had to look at my phone and unlock it. <laughs> look at your phone, thanks. Um, but yeah, we have to tease last call. So Kevin's going to sit down with us. Yeah, man. Sip on a, awesome. a beer or two uh, for the very end here. 
Four or five. This event was awesome, as it always is. If you happen to not be here, you should have learned by now that you need to come out to the next one. You've had five chances so far. Yep. Next year is your sixth. Don't get to ten without getting here. And listen, uh, if you've listened to our uh, Little Big Beer Fest episodes and you see how much fun we have and how cool it is, we're just like in a corner. Yeah, this is a portion of People come over and like we talk to them a little bit, but like all the action is out there and if you want to be out there and part of that, you definitely need to come out. Check out all the Harrisburg Beer Week events. It keeps getting bigger and bigger every year. It's been so cool to see it grow these last five years. I mean, we were there the the first year they yeah. started doing it, and it was kind of an experiment. And and you know, and it worked. The the people who put it together um, weren't really sure how it was going to go, and it's been a smashing success. Yeah, and it's one that everyone looks forward to. Special beers are brewed for this day. Uh, if you are local and can, make sure you Uber or Lyft here or have a driver. If you're going to go all out, uh, I had to pace myself because I did not have that option. Man, this was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was. I'm glad we got to do Always it. Always fun. Yeah. I'm glad, I'm glad that you're here this year, Dan. Yeah, it felt weird missing it last Dan year. Dan wasn't here last year. I tried to host the show. I didn't do nearly you as good as he did. You did a good job. Um, so it's really cool that you were able to come this year uh, in this new venue as well. Yeah. I, I was bummed about missing the, the event, but also the venue last year, because this is the second year that it has been at the National Civil War Museum. But anyway, it is now 5.06, so we need to wrap this shit we up, do, get into the last call, yep. and yep. get moving. Exactly. So this does bring us to the end of another episode of Beer Busters. Uh, it's been a lot of fun, as we've already said. You can check out all the pictures uh, that we have from the event at Beer Busters, Twitter and Instagram. Uh, Beer Busters Podcast on Facebook, BeerBustersPodcast.com. Don't forget, Patreon.com slash Beer Busters so you can get in on Last Call. There may not be a punishment this time, but there will still be fun stuff to listen to. I promise. And uh, we should be working on new stuff as well, so stay tuned. But I am Dan Baker. I am joined by my co-host and virologist... And the Demented and Fermented Wayne Baker. No squids were harmed in the making of this episode. We will see you next time. And thanks for listening. Keep brewing those lagers. <laughs>